Why, hello. I am, in fact, getting ready for cat game. I got my controller, so that's nice. I do love the cat. The sound of the cat is good. All right. You guys ready? I'm going to start it. Here we go. I don't know anything about this, by the way, outside of the trailer. Nothing has been spoiled for me. I'm excited for it. Let's go. Save slots in my cat game? Okay. One thing that I... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock the game by one point. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because there's not nine save slots. You got nine lives, you should have nine save slots. Just saying. Miss. That's a miss, dude. <laughs> oh. oh. That's really pretty. Cats, 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 cats. See, this is what I came here for. That right there. So many cats. Dude. That's a lot of cats, dude. Wow, that transition was really nice. Oh my god, I can play with the other cats. I can just play with the other cats, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, yeah, get him. Get him. Touch his face. Touch his face. Listen, listen to the environmental effects in this. Like, just listen to this. That sounds like Foley sound, and it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Here. This is what face rig technology was made for, dude. Just a little, a little barking meows, dude. Okay, let's see. Can I jump up on anything? Can I press buttons? I cannot. I can keep meowing, though. What is this game? This game is called Stray. It just came out today. How do I jump? Is there a way to do anything? I don't think there is. I'm gonna go hang out with these cats, Steve. It's sleepy cat time. Really pretty. I don't think that's where I fell asleep, though. That ear flick is so good. Oh, it's got a cipher language. So, that was a one-to-one -one transposition cipher. It said inside the wall in, in English, and above it, the symbols matched inside the wall. So it looks like we're gonna have a cool Ryan cipher language throughout the game. game. Terrorists send help. <laughs> Zephra, thank you for the 100 bits. I think that's cool, though. That means that we've got maybe some puzzly stuff to solve? I don't know. That'll be fun, though. I'm digging that. Cat, 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 cat. Oh, I can just meow! Steve's is totally right, you can spam B and you're just meowing, dude. Meow, 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 meow. What happens if I do hold it? If I hold it, nothing happens. Hello. You too are a cat. Can I leap up stuff? Can I climb things? Can I cause mass destruction as all cats? Oh my god, the parkour. Look at the automatic parkour. Small parkour, dude. Literally the best. Being able to meow in cutscenes is amazing. I wonder if that started off as a bug, and then some dev was like, leave it in. Don't, don't remove that. Like, they were like, you can, you can meow in a cutscene. 
<laughs> we forgot to turn it off. Keep it. Don't remove that from the game. This is fantastic. Can I climb up that? So this is really interesting. It's like jumping mechanics, but it's bound. So there's bound areas you can jump. The controller actually vibrated a little bit when I hit the ground there, too, so it's a little bit immersive on that. I like that a lot. Can I run? Is there running? Press B to meow. I can hold right trigger to run. Cat, 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 cat. Can I climb this? Dude, I immediately just want to explore the environment. Can I jump this? One up. Me up! I like that there's no UI yet. Like, you're just kind of out here. All the barrels are unmarked. There's nothing on them. This game was released today, yeah. Only a couple of hours ago. What is this? Oh my god. How does this work? Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I could scratch the hell out of it. Scratch, 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 scratch. Yeah, yeah. You see, they didn't need to put this in. They didn't need to, but they knew it was the right choice. Did you get to choose a color? No, I started off as an orange cat. And it's funny, because when I was a kid, I grew up with an orange cat named Jack. Look just like this. And he got fat. <laughs> this is a really good cat, though. What is this game about? This game is about being a cat. Of which we are currently being a cat. I love that it leaves the scratch marks there. I wonder how long those survive. Okay, it looks like they slowly fade away. Also, the controller vibrates when you're doing it. Wait, what is this? I can press Y here? What's going on over here? Oh, I'm drinking the water. So there's something so interesting about this. They've basically set up a number of interactive objects throughout this area that don't have any significance towards statistics or unlockables or achievements or anything. But they immediately make you feel more in tune with the game's world and with the character. There's no reason for me to be scratching on the tree back there. There's no reason for me to be drinking this water. There's no water fill-up that I need to have. There's no worry of dehydrating. It just makes you feel like you're more a part of the game. And that's really, really good. It's really good. And it's something you don't see a lot of now. It's not only, yeah, it's organic gameplay teaching, but at the same time, it's actually really, really good. Like, really good. Most games today won't have a system like that unless it directly relates to some kind of game mechanic that you have to be doing at the time. This isn't a game mechanic. It's just environmental storytelling. Look at this. They didn't need to do that. They didn't need to. And in fact, it took them more time and money to do so. But it makes a better game. That's cool. I like that. Wait a minute. We've got the first set of symbols on these. I'm going to have to put together an alphabet of that language, aren't I? Cat, cat, cat. Oh. It's a three-letter word on these. Let's go see if we can see it on the other side. No? One, two, three. It looks like 467 and three letters. Four letters? We'll have to get a clearer picture of it later. It is indeed an Annapurna game. All right, let's go this way. I love the other cats coming with you, because it shows you, like, how you can interact with the environment, right? You could just leave them open and alone, but look, you can see that that cat has gone down there. So maybe I can go down there. Let's go try it. Can I go down there? I can. 
What about this door? Is that what Oh, that was so cool. I thought I was going to jump over it, but he ducked under it. Hold A to chain jumps. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, the cipher language is really, really nice. And specifically for me, like, I'm really into that kind of stuff, so. The camera control is fully fluid. You can just, you know, you can do whatever you want with it, which is really nice. What are you doing? What's this cat doing? What'd you find? Nothing? Alright. Okay, so we can hold down LT, left trigger, to like look far into the distance. What is that? Network? 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 Interesting. It's only mildly terrifying, right? Okay, the other cat's making it. We're good. Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Ah, crap. Dude, no. Dude, <laughs> no! Don't you dare. No! My cat fell, dude. The other cats have to watch. Ooh, God, that was not... That was not great. God damn. Are there other cats out here in the darkness with me? Oh no, I'm limping, dude. Oh god. I love the camera work in this. Look at this. He is injured, and the other cats are meowing for him. Oh. Didn't make it very far. What is that? What? What the hell are those? What was that little head crab looking thing, dude? I don't like that. I don't, I don't know what that was. It looked like a booger with sentience. I'm not okay. That's not... <laughs> that is not good, dude. Alright. Second of nine lives activated. Let's go. Okay, I can't run. Not yet. Alright, I've got my bearings again. Looks like I'm able to move. I can't run, though. I really don't feel comfortable in whatever that is. Let's check it out, though. Achievement unlocked, Miss Jump. Alright. Now, let's get up somewhere high, as cats do. Survey our surroundings. That bag is moving. You can see that bag moving. I can see that bag moving. This is why cats get up high, dude. This is the reason. I can see it. That bag is full of weird, weird gross booger things, dude. Dead city. Nope. Nope. I saw him. I saw him. I'm not about it, dude.
position. God, there's so much stuff in here. There's so much to look at. 04578946. Tons and tons of... It's a pandemic. Look. It says pandemic protocol. Do not try to exit the city. Stay home. Avoid any contact with other residents. Violation of these rules of containment will result in heavy, a heavy prison sentence. It's a little close to home, right? <laughs> uh, hi. Hey there, buddy. Little robot man. What's going on? What are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. Well, we haven't seen a human yet. I don't like being on the ground. Kind of freaks me out. Let's get up high. Yeah, let's stay up. Look at this environment, dude. You just look at this, really. Oh. Something made a gross noise back there. No escape. The robot's done. I feel like... I feel like if I died, this is what my cat would do. So... This is... This is definitely in character. This is how it works. really love these environments, though. So it still has power. There's at least something keeping care of this environment. There's a lock on this door. Another dead robot. There's another camera over there, too. Yeah, no trumpets allowed, dude. That's really cool, dude. God, I love these environments. Oh. You said, yeah, that website in the poster reroutes to their website? We definitely got to start solving stuff. We see more of this. What is this? Oh, I can pick things up! Interesting. So are there puzzle-related things? Move stuff around. We can jump up on things. Let me grab one of those buckets. <laughs> so good, dude. That's so good. What is this? OSRT 88 oil. Hey, there's a QR code. Where's my phone? I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to scan this QR code. Yeah. It doesn't want to scan. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get it either. It may just be that it's it's not an actual QR code, that it's like blurred out, or it's just too weird resolution. I love throwing stuff. Yes. 
Become a cat. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Did it actually give that number for you? I wasn't able to scan it. I'm too busy throwing things off of this building. Hmm. Can I make the jump? Can I make that jump? I bet I can make that jump. Yeah. All right, there we go. Follow me. Follow me where? A lot of like anti, anti bird devices here. I'm going to break through the glass. There we go. That's so cool, dude. They do a really good job of teaching you the mechanics without telling you the mechanics. And it's got a very... I don't know, like almost the Matrix Neo feel. Where like Neo wakes up and he's like, and it's like, hey Neo. But it's the same thing, but you're a cat. The clock is still working. Higher on this is flat. What's going on here? Yeah! Yeah! Screw up the rug. Screw up the rug. <laughs> Why do I have to do this? I don't. But I'm definitely going to destroy this. <laughs> Oh, it's the best. Oh, can I leave little footprints? Let me look. Wet, wet, wet. Oh, I can! Look at him go, dude! <laughs> Screw your rug, dude. This is what being a cat is all about, dude. This right here. This is what it's about. Fantastic. What a video game, dude. What a, what a video game. What what a video game. What's that tape? Wait a minute. Where's my is that a face coffee? I have face coffees. Is that what that is? Look at this. And throw all this stuff on the floor and then look at it. Everything has this writing on it. This looks like it might be an emergency... Like, emergency exit? Maybe they're trying to escape the city? There's, like, a fist up there. Like, the resistance, maybe? It's probably people trapped here during the quarantine that wanted to leave. What is this? Oh, cool. We can get some water. You don't think this is a real language? It absolutely is. So they showed the language earlier and they showed the translation for it. It's a one-to-one -one transposition cipher. Most definitely is. Yeah. So you can translate this. In fact, probably all of this is translatable. It's um, a one-to-one -one transposition cipher means each symbol is one English character. Like one of those symbols is the letter A and so on and so forth. And we've seen it in a couple of the transition scenes. So it is real. Which is really cool. I think that's fantastic, to be honest with you. I do the same thing in Heartbound. I love that in games. It just adds something to it, you know? Wait a minute. What's up there? He has one. There's a phone number. But it's not a 555 phone number. What do you guys think I should call that number? Think I should call that number? I've never seen a 558 number. 558-495-8801. I'm calling it. No, it's 495. Can't be completed. Can't be completed is dialed. Hmm. 
Is 558 not a, a valid area code? That's the real question. 7888. Nothing. Yeah, call can't be completed as down. I actually feel they have good eyes. I wouldn't know. I have glasses. <laughs> there's that... There's a number up there. Looks like all the emergency contact numbers for the city. Hey! There's just like a random piece of graffiti here. Look at that. Dude, I love these environments. I really do. Oh, that's so good. Cat elevator. Hell yeah, cat elevator, dude. What the hell is that? Dude, they look like giant flesh ticks. I really don't like that. No. Nope, nope. Okay. Um. I think. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, they're afraid of me. Okay. I was gonna run. I was like, alright, I'm ready. They're near one of the robots. They have giant eyes. Do you see that? You okay? Oh, 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 oh. a cutscene at first. None of this ends up being cutscenes. Let's get out of here, dude. Oh god, it's another one of those blob things. Oh no, dude. Nuh-uh. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Nope. Oh, dear God, they're horrifying. Keep moving. Oh, my God, they're so disgusting. No! Nope. Ah, get off of me. <laughs> They're so gross. Nope. Not like this. Oh god. Oh god. Your little your gross blobby bodies. Get off of me, dude. Nope. Not like this. Up. Nope, 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 nope. Up, 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 up. Jump! Oh, I made it. Oh, those things are horrifying, dude. Those things are super gross. Cat, 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 cat. Are we safe in here? Every time I meow, it reacts. Watch this. There's a human voice in it, but it's not a human. It's like, um... Like those voices that you hear at, like, terminals and things like that, or at the airport. The automated voices? It sounded like a bunch of those. Uh, 
That one's all locked. Let's hop up there. God, those blob things were gross, dude. Alright, down that way. Ooh, boy. Kick it. Uh. Hell yeah. The game looks good, but I think the biggest thing is we're learning so much about the game world through small details throughout the game, right? Like, we could totally go through and ignore those things, but I think the game experience would be greatly diminished by just trying to blitz through it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm getting into it because I'm checking all this stuff out. With this much detail in the environment, there's bound to be tons of secret stuff in here, even if it's just things that improve the story. Like, look at this. I don't know what that says. We're gonna need to figure that out at some point. Right. October 11th. So whatever happened, happened on October 11th. <laughs> Give me the welcome, Matt. Something's reacting. There, look at that. Those cameras, whatever's trying to lead me must be able to interact with the cameras. Can we move this? How do we move this? Ah, there we go. It looks like maybe we can walk in the inside? There we go. Did you see another QR code somewhere? Where is it? He saw one and scanned it? If it's got a different value on it, please let me know. Let's keep a running tally of all these different codes. Because 0707 is a different code. If someone can keep track of those, either one of the mods or you guys, write them down. Let's find out if we can see, like, a whole bunch of them, because they might lead to something. Because if there's different QR codes throughout the game, there's a reason for that. You don't just generate QR codes, like, at random. You have to build those, and they have to have a specific mask on them that is hiding specific- Nope! A mask on them that hides information. You're writing them down in a tax document? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You guys are try hard? Absolutely. 100%. You have to remember, like, I'm really, really into crypto puzzles, man. Like, very much so. So to have a game with a cipher right off the bat and having all these little tiny details in there, you have to remember, like, if you're a game dev and you're hiding those things, you're doing it for a reason. 
either for players like me that are really interested in that stuff or to try and build extra game world for people that don't understand those types of puzzles or aren't that interested in those types of puzzles. Like, there's a reason to build that. Someone took time to do this. They did it for a reason. So might as well look at it, you know? Don't <laughs> look at this. Oh. I keep hearing the static. Achievement unlocked. A little chatty. A little chatty, dude. Okay, here we go. We go up here. Dude, all of this is just like absolutely falling apart. I think you can go up this way and then get onto the little way so you know there. There we go. Doesn't look like we missed anything over there. Picture of a cat person. What if we're the reason that the people are dead? We're the only mammal that we've seen so far. We've seen a, a butterfly. What if the virus was carried by cats? What's this about a cipher? These symbols, states, it's all a cipher. It's a one-to-one -one transposition, uh, transposition cipher. We've also found a number of QR codes that you can scan that have different numbers coming out. We've been tracking them. Literally all of the graffiti and everything on this is an actual language. It's in English. It's just a symbol. Cat face. Cat face. That's pretty good. I'm glad. I'm glad that the game lets me do this. <laughs> Why, hello. How, how's it going, chat? It is me, the cat. <laughs> the best, dude. Alright. Oh, jumped the wrong way. You get up there? There we go. Whoop. Oop. Better jump quick. Well, that thing fell off. Hmm. When you activate the front camera on your phone, dude. Yeah, that's, exa that's exactly what that is. It's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god. You're like in the middle of the dark. <laughs> No, wrong, f wrong camera, wrong camera. <laughs> Let's see here. There's a blueprint later in the game that very clearly says ATX 200 watt PC power supply, and it's not plot relevant. Yeah, I've I've basically come to the conclusion that a lot of this stuff is built specifically for like setting the scene. Like a lot of this language in here is scene setting stuff, but it's really cool. Like, it's, it's really cool. Can I just... No doors are keeping me out, dude. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Cool door, dude. Let's see. There's another fan there. What's this? Oh. It was a battery. Do I just... Do I just have a battery now? All right. Cool. My battery now. The flat. Did I just lose my battery? I totally lost my battery, dude. Huh. Walled City 99 International University. To all whom... These letters shall come greeting. It is hereby certified that the above has satisfactorily completed the requirements. So it looks like this is a... Like a college degree? But instead of a walled city. So... After whatever pandemic they dealt with... Wait a minute, there's a picture of a cat here. Look at this. 
Hmm. Maybe the cats are what symbolize freedom to them, because the cats can basically go anywhere in the city. I don't know. I'm on the fence. It, like, the cats could be the cause of the pandemic, or the cats could be a symbol of freedom to the people that are oppressed and trapped inside of the city during this pandemic. It's all different ways this could go. The cats could also just be here to destroy your rugs. That could be the case. I do like destroying me a rug. You know. I'm jamming out right now to my rug destroying, all right? <laughs> I love that you have to spam the keys. Wait a minute. How could I not get on this? The power. The absolute power. Oh. Uh. I may have destroyed your rug. I... maybe... <laughs> oh, very cool. <laughs> Body required for download. Body required. Enter the door, turn on, find a body. Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's everything that I wanted it to be and more, dude. this one. Okay, we gotta find a body. Oh, there's plugs for the batteries here. There's no battery plugged in. Battery number one. <laughs> Very helpful. Yeah! There he goes! Yoink. Number two. We have two batteries now. This is good. Yoink. I am a smart kitty, dude. What was the binary? I have no idea. To me, that one looked like gibberish, because I think it was just five across. So, we were talking about the cipher earlier. If you were a game developer, would you actually do this if you didn't want players to find this. No. So I've screenshotted this. There it is. Yoink. Boop. Battery, 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 battery. We did it. All right. It's just a little guy. Hey, little guy. Look at him. Look at, little, look at the little guy. He's just a little guy, dude. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about this one, Chief. Was he trying to upload his consciousness? 
But he's a robot. Do these robots have consciousness? All right. Uh, okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna do one of these. We're just gonna we're just gonna do one of these, you know? It's kind of spinning circles. Drone companion. What is this? What is in my mouth? What are you? It's a tiny little head thing. Where does it go? How about this box? When I pick it up, the lights are on. Yeah, the cat's eyes do reflect in the light. It's really cool, dude. There we go. It's uploading information into the little drone, buddy. Oh no, little drone buddy. Oh my god, look at him. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> look at him go, dude. Uh. Toy for cat. Toy for cat. So I don't know what he's saying. It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Very good. Battery low already. I'm over here. What is that thing eating for batteries? You're gonna have to put this on. Harness on cat! <laughs> I was gonna say, he's definitely gonna lay on the floor. That's exactly what cats do. You put a harness on a cat and they're like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I walk weird. Yes, dude. I tried putting a harness on my cat to walk her, and she walks like this. A hundred percent, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, they hate it so much. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. This backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Yes. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. You can just... You can just do that. Cool. Oh, that's great, dude. Hell yeah. that you can rotate them. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. No. I'm curious about an object. 
I want to know. I want to know about this. Nope. I guess not. Okay, so that's going to have to be something that we solve as a player. What was that? Did you see that? Maybe it's because it's keys? That's really interesting. So it lights up when the little robot can do stuff. Select an item to use. Use the keys. Very nice. Okay. So we can see in the dark to a point. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I hope this was part of the pitch, right? They're like, we want to make a video game. Well, what do you want your game to be about? Sold. 100% sold. I'm in. I'll give you any money you want. That's it. Code equals 3748. Huh. Seems to be something on my shelf. Can't allow that. Seems to be paint on my floor. So 3748 is the code that we're looking for. Even though we didn't know we needed it. He opened that door like a man. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Bucket tram! Oh, look at his little feet! Look at his little feet, dude. Look at his, look at his little feet, dude. His tiny little feet. Little feet. More help messages. More of that graffiti logo. Wait, I remember. The outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? It is, actually. I promised someone I would go there. I must who? This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. New memory recovered. 3% of memories. <laughs> oh. How have I been lately? I'm doing alright, man. How you doing, little Koba? We're exploring Stray. And it's such a really interesting environmental game, dude. And I'm a cat. And as we all know, the cat's the only cat that knows where it's at. So, 10 of 10 game already. No, no, no. Oh, it's the things, dude. You hear them. Oh, they're over there. Okay, let's go this way and see if there's not any kind of secrets that we can uncover back here. No, we're good. Okay, there's a house symbol over there? Wait, translate. Safe zone. So houses are safe zones. 
There we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, it's creepy. They're really creepy. Run, 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 run. Nope, 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 nope. All right. None of those horrible things. The slums. Come here. Come on, buddy. That's probably bad. Okay. All right. That's interesting. They're all hiding. Look at this. They're terrified of me. Yeah. Who's this guy? Whoa. Not reacting at all. Oh, I smile. He's smiling at me because I meowed at him. Look. I don't know what he's saying. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. Maybe the little blob creatures are called Zerks? You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. He thought I was one of the blob creature things, dude. They're called Zerks, I guess. That's what it is. Okay. They're scared of the creatures. Zerk rush, dude. <laughs> it's a Zerkling! Oh, God. The robots fear death. That's what it is. They fear death in a world that's already dead. In the last. The Zerk killed the robots, yeah. But we saw that before. Remember the robot was dying on the ground. That's really interesting. Watch this. Their emotion happens when you meow. It shows you how they feel about you. So they're afraid. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. Show you a postcard. Ooh, very pretty. Let's see if we can talk to them and change their mind about how we are. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. The end of the world happened a long time ago. A long time ago. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame, it's just a dream. Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Here's another really interesting feature. Look at this. See how it says meet first? After you meet them, it teaches you their their name. You meet the character and then it teaches you the name. 
And then after that, you can talk to that character, and they have that name. Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Now it says talk to talk with Johan. That's really good. I'm here to destroy your rug. <laughs> I'm here to destroy your rugs. I won't eat you, but I'll eat your rug. Rug, 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 rug. This person doesn't like me at all. Human. So the humans and robots were friends. Interesting. Yeah. We haven't seen a human yet. And it's clear that this society is completely broken down. You look lost. What do you need? Show you the postcard. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now. Except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Alright. Don't hesitate to call me any time. I'm here to help. The guardian told us to talk to Momo. Okay, cool. So we can actually have like a... If I forget what I'm doing. The marketplace. I'm the merchant of the market. Azuz, dude. Look at his hat. Oh my god. You give me something, I give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. Music sheet, electric cable, some kind of weird cloth. I have to find energy drink cans, huh? Yeah, yeah. Break the physics. <laughs> any invisible walls? Not really, just kind of things you can't really climb. I haven't seen any invisible walls yet. These visuals are beautiful, though. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats, and preparation is key. I'll show you this. We come across fake... Fake pictures like this sometimes. All talking about the outside. Beautiful dream, I guess. So their whole society is made up of characters that have completely given up hope. I'm so mean to you, Darkness. Wait, what, dude? I won't stop enticing you. Look at this video again. Look at it. Thank you for the bits. Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven. Or from somewhere, anyway. A blue sky. Ha! <laughs> Imagine that. It's down over here. Oh, we got another guy. Dude, look at this guy. Hello. I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. There was the, the music sheet that we saw before. We can definitely get him that music sheet. A blue sky, ha. Huh. I'll write a song about that one day. Alright, let's go back to the other one and see what the dude is willing to sell the music sheet for. Because we only talked to him about the cloth. This is a music sheet, a masterful piece for of art from a very renowned artist. But it cost you one energy drink can. I haven't even found a single energy drink can. Huh.
Yeah. Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Uh... Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. Where's the paint? You know we only have one option now. And that's to perform great violence. How do we get up top so I can throw paint on this guy's house? Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. It's a surgery room. It's a surgery 7-7. Seven, seven. Someone's getting fixed in there. Poor robots. Here we go. This is the way up. Okay. Hey, buddy. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. I'm going to make you drop another bucket, dude. Wait for it. I'm going to be out at him just the right time. Yeah! Ah, he's so pissed, dude. Doot -doot 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 -doot. Actually, let's investigate all of this first before I head up there. Because there might be something else. What's up here? What is this? There's a bucket there. Some kind of weird little box thing. Oh, dude, there's investigative stuff everywhere here. Like, everywhere, everywhere. Now that the guy spilled the paint, like, I want to go do that, but look, look at this. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Did I mess up this bed? There's a little robot guy next to me. Look at that. Too much thought went into this game? No, just enough. Where's the camera going? See, the part that's really interesting about this is, like, clearly something's happening because the camera's moving around. Cat game! Playing cat game, dude. I fell asleep on this, on this, like, bed, and it's slowly zooming the camera out. Is that the sign doing the oh, face? Yeah, it is, in the back. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Can you meow when sleeping? I don't want to touch it. I feel like it's doing something. Hmm. Let's stop. I love that, though. I really do. I really, really enjoy that. Yeah, stretch in. Are you okay, little robot man? Are you doing all right? How's it going? The circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. 
The outside? Momo told me he'd get me there one day. I didn't even realize. Those aren't stars. They sealed this city in. Because of the pandemic that they were experiencing, they're literally sealed in. It's a roof, dude. It's a dome, yeah. There is no outside. They can't see it. Dude, I love this graffiti. Look at this. Let's go up. Yeah, no escape was meant very literally. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, let's see. Translate this. Who's this? Ventilation power supply. Oh, mind if I do. <laughs> Why did I take this? Why am I an evil bastard? What's the point of stealing this? Well, I mean, I, the robots don't need ventilation, right? Always good to stay hydrated, dude. Weird little building, huh? What is that? There's something on the table there that looks different. It's another postcard. How do I get the robot to interact with that? You see that? It also looks like some kind of inhaler? Like an inhalant drug, maybe? Oh my god, look at the robot pictures. Love that. Oh! I'm a monster. Huh. Let me just ruin your house. I love how you can be a proper cat and just ruin everything. I know, it's great. I'm inside a box right now. It's great. Box, 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 box. Get some energy drink cans? I mean, I want to, but I don't think it's letting me do that. The cans aren't letting me pick them up. Oh, wait. There was a notebook. A strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. A trace of organic life has disappeared, except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who the Guardian talked to us about. Alright. Love throwing, throwing boxes around, dude. Is that an energy drink can? Is that what that is? No, it's not. Let me pick it up. Anything in these boxes? No? Aw, oh, yeah! <laughs> I love that the scratching turned out to be like a puzzle mechanic for that. It's one of those, those lucky cat symbols inside of the dryer in there. Hmm... Wait, what is that? That graffiti has glowing particles. Remember. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. 
Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Got a new memory. Companions. That's what I'm thinking the robots are. Maybe they were originally companions for the people that were trapped in here. So we found our first piece of secret lore. I may not have missed them. They may be in random order, Zephron. Order in a game with cats? Exactly. Hmm. Oh, there's a guy up here. There's another memory. Oh, he's dead. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there. Away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but defy themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. <sighs> we teach our kids all the worst behaviors. Humans are stupid. Kind of reminds me of that, um, that movie. How many of you guys have seen the movie Don't Look Up? Reminds me a lot of that. If you've seen that, you'd understand. I don't want to spoil it for anybody else, but if you haven't seen it, you should probably watch that. Really, really good. It was a good movie. Hmm. Neko plants grow in the dark. You don't need the sun to enjoy nature. <laughs> I don't like that, dude. Translate this. Barterman Super Spirit Laundry Grandma Clothing and Elliot Programming. You'd love me some grandma clothing. Hello. You do look a little like a Zerk. From far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Oh, that's the outside that Momo keeps talking about. Oh yes, everyone out here knows this symbol. It's the Outsiders. They live on the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. Okay, so we'll bring that to Momo. Hey, there's somebody I didn't meet. Where'd you go? I must have gone over that way. Cat, 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 cat. What is it? What does a robot even drink, dude? Hey, bud. How you doing? You're new around here. What can I do for you? Oh, this is a nice picture of the outside. Momo is a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an orange neon sign. I steal this guy's hat. I feel like I want to steal his hat. I can just jump over him. It's kind of great, to be honest with you. Huh. Can I jump down? I can jump down. Those energy drinks, dude? So these are... That's an alcohol from 2017. The robot said that they were alive for 300 years. How long have the humans been dead? Change the music. Oh my god! 
The little robot was hacking it, dude. You want something? Ah, the myth of the blue sky. Beautiful concept. Jacob, Employee of the Month, September XX27. Hmm. Remember. It's like gum. What is that? What is that Ram? <laughs> it's just Ram sitting. Is that Ram T, dude? <laughs> My god. It's ramen, dude. <sighs> oh no. Do they really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? Do you think I should try some of it? I don't want to be disrespectful of their ways. Ramen, dude. Oh my god, it's ramen, dude. Well, hi. This is the newspaper from the people living above, on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. I like that I can be under the table like that. Ah, sheet music. We get a piece of sheet music for our musician friend. Number five out of eight. We use this quite a lot of those. I love this funky beat, dude. We're beating this today? I won't stop playing it till it's done, man. You know the rule. I left in the streets, and the next day, the Zerks had consumed it completely. It's crazy, right? They can eat everything. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door. Oh, I can rub on him, dude. And he loves it! Can I rub on this one? Ruin this robot. They all love it, dude. Hell yeah. Now you rules, Ultra Lord. I love sitting down and just like experiencing a whole game with you guys, to be honest with you. It's really fun. It kind of makes it feel like a party to me, you know what I mean? Like, like I know it, it's really tough to like hang out with your friends and stuff, especially during the pandemic, and we could just like sit down and play a whole game, you know? It's like sitting around a couch. I enjoy that. I think it's really fun. Sharing an experience together like that is really fun for me. I wish it was such a good game like that. What is that? Oh, dude, there's just pants up there. 300 year old pants. I can't go anywhere from here, can I? Can I get those pants? No, I can't get the pants. Is that a wanted poster? Huh. Hmm. Hey, Year Joy. You guys should know how I always talk about my dad. That's him in chat. That's Year Joy. Year Joy's my dad. Say hello to me. You have to. You have to at me so that I can see your. I didn't even see that you were here. You big nerd. <laughs> It's my dad in chat, dude. Ugh. You just got here? Nice. How's your day going over there in your- Is it really hot there right now? You do look like a little Zerk from far away. Okay, so this is the same guy from before. We don't have to show him anything new. I do want to go find our musician friend. 
It's over 100 degrees? Oh, God. Oh, he's very upset. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop. Again! Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Well, now I'm in your shop. Oh, so this is the guy who runs the laundromat. There's 102 in Cambridge today? No, dude. I left California because of that heat. Take super detergent. Alright. Yoink! We could just turn physical objects into data. That's great. That seems safe, right? But no, like, I, I left California because it was so hot. And then the first year that I got up here to Washington State, our summer was 116 degrees. It was 116. Fahrenheit, obviously, not Celsius. It'd be like the sun. But it was insane. It was insane. I couldn't believe how hot it was. Outrageous, dude. Clearly the heat follows me, dude. It hasn't come back, thankfully. There's gotta be something else in here, right? We stole detergent from this. But why? I think that's it. There's another one of those lucky cats. There's a lot of these lucky cats. Like a lot of them. Is there anything else in this environment that we can look at? I love the design in here. Melt metal, 116C? Yeah, pretty much. It was just, it's ridiculous, you know. Okay, so I can't show him any items. Hmm. 26C here. Thunderstorms and heat warning. Yeah, I don't know what it is in, in you know, Celsius here, but it's not super hot here, hot here right now. Oh my god, look at him. Look at his weird little teeth, dude. Howdy, partner. <laughs> oh, well, at least Cosmo is making use of all that detergent. But I have the detergent. I bet some people would pay a lot for a full super spirit bottle. Music sheet. I don't play an instrument, sorry. Hmm... Hmm. Can you do first person view with the cat? You can do it like this. But as close as you. And then you can do this. For supreme cat supremacy right there. That's the best feature in the entire video game, I think. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Let's go down here and give this guy one of the sheets of music that we found. Oh actually no, this is this is the other guy. Let's go to the other side. Hey, buddy. Let's give you that. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. Alright. Let's chill out. This game is really charming, dude. Temp in F, minus 32 divided by 2, divided by 1.9. Makes sense. You know you can actually tell the temperature by how quickly a cricket chirps? It's actually real, too. <laughs> the speed of their chirping directly relates to the temperature in the air. <laughs> this is so good, dude. I have a bunch of orange juice. The cat's purring, yeah. I like how the guitar doesn't have strings. Yeah, the animation of the fingers is really good. You can see him, like, flip like this as he goes. And also, on the other hand, actually moving and pushing on them. This is really well done, you know? I can meow what's going on. Look. Hello, White Bolt. Cool red message. 
How you doing, dude? If you guys don't know White Vault, White Vault is a, a pixel artist full of wizard magic and an object head. Object heads are very cool. But yeah, look, you can see the strings. Look at that. And if you look really closely, you can actually see that the strings change as the hand hits them. The texture on them slightly changes. Look at that. It's a really good song. Thank you for that music. I will practice. Do you think you can find more? Yeah, definitely. I bet some people will be a lot for full super spirit bottle like that. All right. Yeah, we gotta get, we gotta keep getting this guy music. I'm down. It's our mission now. What is this? Oh God! Oh no! It's it's <laughs> it's made the controls backwards. <laughs> it's made the controls backwards. Oh no! <laughs> Finally fell off. Oh no! That was amazing, actually. It was really good. Oh, what is this? Take safe's mysterious password. Yoink! Use digicode. Access to the sewers is condemned because of proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. Access control system. Ah. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Energy drink! Now we can go buy that other piece of music. You, I want this. Give me that. What do you want now? This. There you go. Sick. Off we go. Love this music. UV ink. Yeah, UV ink is really interesting, actually. I will practice. Think you find more? Show him the item. What do we got? The way you compute tonight. Oh, that's a nice one. Hear me out. Here we go. I like that it's putting the music on the wall, too. Flight of the Concords, The Humans Are Dead is a great song, by the way. This is actually fantastic. You know, this is one of the things that I was talking about before. It doesn't matter if your game has amazing stats or incredible game mechanics or anything like that. Sometimes you just want to sit down and listen to a robot play music song, you know? That's it. That's it. fantastic, honestly. This whole game is about immersing you in the world that they've created. It's literally 100% world crafting. There's no real objective. Like, not really. instrument is really cool sounding dude to be honest with you it's so good oh look it's a sign for the cats now we're a street performance dude <laughs> The tinny quality is just perfect. It really is. I love that the... It's actually 3D sound, too.
Five seven nine eight. Hmm. Seven eight eight nine. Hmm. Hmm. Follow the numbers. Follow the numbers. Is there anything we can do up here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, dude, I dig that. I love this world building. I think it's phenomenal. It really, really is. What do you want for this thing, man? The best of the market for electrical cable? Hey, yeah, no, I can totally give you that. I don't know why I'm giving you this, but... Yeah, I'll trade, dude. Alright, we got some trades going. The last one, we need two cans of energy drink. This. But now we know how to get energy drinks, so that's fine. Just gotta find more of those machines. It's another one of ones where the camera just goes out. Let's see if there's anything secret in this area that we can only see by the camera moving. Dude, you know what this game is? It's a slice of life game. It's a slice of life from the perspective of a cat at the end of the world. It's really cool. Oh yeah, no, Steve's. I already did that. I just spun the cat around inside the bucket. It's really funny. So that area over there, it says no safe zone. So if the guardian opens up the door for us, we can do that. You can do warp speed in a bucket? Is that what it is? Okay, I haven't done that. It's really funny. We'll, we'll definitely have to try that, though. I think I've seen this place before. Yeah, we've been in here before. Hmm. Ramen, dude. I'm never gonna get over the ramen. Oh my god. That's it, dude. Think about this. It's very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Real geek, huh? Only a real geek. How do we know it's a real geek? Real geek. I don't think we know anyone like that yet. We may have to go meet more people. Interesting. There's a bucket up there. Hyping this way. We have to get up top. What about you, Rico? Only a real geek. 
A real geek. Yeah, I gotta look at it, dude. Literally me. I'm the real geek. It's really funny. What about you, Guardian? So that one's... We have to bring to Mama. Only a real geek can read this guy. Have I met you? I don't think I've met this person. I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is amazing technology. Here's our musician friend. Nothing climbable. Hmm. Wasn't the street sign with the geek as a destination? I think you're right. I think there was. I'm going to see if I can climb up here. This was that memory that we got. So we can use this to get up higher again. Survey the area. There's a bucket over there. But I think we just need to get over there to the orange sign. Up top. That bucket takes us back down. Did we go in there? I don't remember if we did or not. <laughs> that seems fine. We already took that battery out. Is there- it's a true there's a meow button? Not only is there a meow button, but his mouth moves when you do it. It's amazing. It's literally amazing, dude. Oh no, not again. Nothing over this way. Can we climb up this building here? I think we need to climb. Yeah, we gotta find a way up. Maybe not there. Let's go around this way. It's Momo. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure he's a real geek. Look at him. What's wrong, buddy? It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. What do you want? I have to show you this. It's very old binary code. Only real geek can read it. So you're not a real geek. The research books for my friends. Useless now. Nobody wants to go outside anymore. What can I really do for you? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream, too. Now they're gone. I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but... The transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research from the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Oh, that's so sad, dude. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook you give us. Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zabalzar, Doc, and Momo. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Well, we found one of them. Those are high-quality cables. Grandma uses this to craft her unique clothes. Must have been his crew. Take a look at the transceiver.
Outsiders. That's the symbol of the Outsiders. Funky, dude. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a blue sky is hidden behind. It's the containment. Oh yeah! Tear up the door, dude. Tear up the door. Chaos. I like being a cat. This is the way it should be. Dude, he's tearing right through the metal. It's fantastic. Can you jump high places? Yeah, you can jump up on a almost anything. You can also, like, scratch tons of stuff for, like, no good reason, right? <laughs> like, there's no reason for me to do that horrible thing to his, his house. But here I am. Oh, there we go. Another piece of sheet music. See? Exploring is paying off, man. Weird. The lighting is strange. That might just be a lighting bug. I'm gonna tear up his, his walls. I'm gonna tear up his rugs, dude. It's really good, Zent. Throws books all over the floor. What is that? Oh, cat toy. Just like every cat, I have to get this stuck somewhere that it's not supposed to be. Game of the year, dude. Literally, literally game of the year. No! It happened again! God damn it. The controls are reversed as long as you have a bag on your head. Oh, oh it's so ridiculous. Your cat literally stash all of his toys behind the cats. That's what that's what cats do, dude. Oh, here we go. Remember. Back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created. I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Because he's you, B12. You uploaded your consciousness, remember? Who's that? Interesting. <laughs> Problem? Pretty good. There's that picture of the cat in the hallway again. I think he's the science man, yeah. We're just sneaking around under the bed, dude. Nice. Steve was right. <laughs> Look at it go. He just spins, dude. Really funny. Yeah, let's head over this way.
don't think we've been up here. What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. What is this? Somebody who makes paintings of all the people in the village? Oh, I love that. Look at this. Just look at this, like... That's so good. Another piece of sheet music. We have two new ones now. That's great. Clementine's notebook. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown. They apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know his look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. So there was something on this table? I don't see anything. Unless you mean a table in here. This table? The outside table? I'll go check. Let me look at all this stuff first. You talking about it out here? I got an achievement called Catapult. Oh, you're totally right. Sheet music. Ah, right, there we go. Thank you. Professional streamer. Ever be a professional streamer, dude? You ever do that with your life? Oh, delicious energy drink item. I love that I picked up the energy drink and immediately started funky music, dude. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? I don't think we've met. He's got glasses on. I bet he's a nerd. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Only a real geek can read this? Hmm. He would be the geek we need, dude. Thought it'd be him. He's not a geek, he's a hipster. Oh, baited. Wait, there's a... Is that a vending machine? That is a vending machine. And it's in a really weird spot. There it is. That's the last energy drink we needed. It's a weird location, too. Oh, I haven't met you before. If today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. We don't like our soft one ancestors. Oh, we don't age like our soft one ancestors. We're trapped here forever. It's an area of town that I haven't been to before. Yeah, it could be history geek. That's true.
It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. It's interesting that they have one fighting robot. You know what I mean? Can the cat purr? You can meow at any time. Oh, here we go. Grandma clothing. Oh, she loves it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, little one. Do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you. But I need it. Oh, yeah, I do have electric. Make me a poncho. Here. Thank you, dear. We have to work right away. Oh, my gosh. She's knitting it. Knit me a poncho. Cat poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. How do I use my cat poncho? This looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. Oh. Go find a cold robot, man. We get inside. Is there anything else we can obtain here? I did. You just you can rub up against her leg. There's a bunch of NPCs you can rub up against too. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Would you like more? I recognize Grandma's style. She's very talented, you know. You want something? I think a little cat statue is meowing. Interesting. Elliot Programming. This is going to be the one. He's the nerd, dude. Let me in! Hey, buddy. Okay, so Nestor doesn't help. Sponge? A weird house. We were programmed to be slaves, but since that many days ago, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell. Momo. How many days is that? You read it as since this day, like a eunuch. Oh, it could be Unix time. Oh. Here, let's go look at Unix epic time and see. Unix. That's totally a good point. Epic time. Let's go look at the epic converter. Yeah, that's totally an epic. Oh my god, that's really funny. 875556. Five, five, Timestamp the human date. It's since the year 2022. On July 19th, it's today. It's since this day, they have a soul. At exactly the launch time of the video game. That's great. It's not just the year, it's down to the minute of when the game launched on Steam. It's day 19, month 7, hour 10, which we, this game launched at 10 a.m. this morning. That's fantastic. That's really cool. See, this is what I'm saying, dude. Check everything. Good call, Steets. Good call. Yeah, it's epic time. Yes, can I help you? 
He's got a little tiny face. Look at his little tiny face. Do you want me to read this binary code? Just a second. I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means duffer bar. Strange. Look at the rendezvous if I have binary. Where did you find this? It's amazing. He's shivering because he's cold. Yeah. Let me try it on. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. We're doing it. We just throw his stuff everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a cat. I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm a cat and I'm on your stuff. I'm gonna rip up your carpet. Ripping up your carpet. Oh, we can remember something. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what the humans would have wanted. Done with your cursed quest, Master Ren? Hell yeah. Is it possible to translate the writings? As far as we know, yes. So it's a one to one transposition cipher. Oh, my stomach is mad, dude. Why? Why is my stomach so angry? What do you want now? This is an ancient relic, a testament to the tank. Three energy drink cans. Wait a minute. I think I only have one. No, I have two. I need one more. Petite Vols. play with one eye. I mean, I could do that. I don't know if I can turn down blur. This is fantastic. True pirate with an eye patch? Maybe I will. We'll see if the lack of motion blur helps. I don't know. I'll just wait. I'll wait and see. I have so much music to give this guy.
It's so good, dude. Can you meow with the beat? Yeah, you can. You can meow during all these animations too, like as I get up, I can meow. So the Navarro Wilds, you have a goal to not die? I think I have a goal in this one. I think my goal is to be a cat. You know, as cats do. Song sounds so familiar. Can't put your finger on it. It's very fun. I think it was from earlier in the game, wasn't it? Thank you, by the way, for all those bits. Very nice of you, Thorn. I got more music for you, buddy. Ballad of the Lonely Robot. I think I can play this. Look. Yeah, you can sit here and like how you're sleeping and just be like... You just hit the button at any time to meow. Cat music, dude. <laughs> I think this is probably the one I like the most so far. one piece left. There's three slots left, so I'm missing two more. Let's try it. We got one last song to play. Yeah, it looks like not music. It looks like something else. That's a code. For sure that's code. Look at it. It's really weird. Looks like a spectrograph moment. It could be. 
really weird. I think it's the only piece of music we had left. We still need one more energy drink. Brute force is safe? No, I think I want to follow the storyline for the safe. We have to go to the bar. I haven't been to the bar yet, so I'm going to take this crate. Oh my god, the crate, dude. I wonder if you can get it on top of me. Oh, it's stuck now. One's the bar. There's got to be something here that we missed. We have to follow the numbers. Carl! Hmm. Maybe 8801. We've seen that before, though. There we go. 1283. Oh, it's a sheet music. Okay. Tiny. That's not good, Sean Swebs. I don't want tiny in my bloodstream. That's not. It's not good, dude. You think you can find more? Yes. Unreadable sheet music. Hmm. Not very readable, but I can still try. Hell yeah. Oh. He's like messing it up. It's definitely going to be food poisoning, dude. It's definitely going to be food poisoning. It's just sitting here in my stomach hurts, doing nothing. I love this music, too.
alien dude. This is fun. No, I'm not going to go rest. We have a rule. And the rule is that I finish the video game, my dude. So let's think about this. There's a couple areas that we haven't been yet. Oh, wait. Okay, so we've been up here before. But let's see if we can can't, can't get back up onto the rooftops again. There we go. Hubris. Probably is. Yes. I think I've been over there where those long lights are. Maybe we can make it over there. Miracoon, hello. Where are those? There's the wire thing, but I don't think I've gone over there. There's a couch. Have you been on this couch before? I think I've been over here before. Yeah. But have I been over there before? That I don't think so. Can I reach? I don't think I can. Let's see if we can go up here. There we go. What is this? <laughs> There's like an, some kind of weird enforcers. There's like cop robots up top. It's putting him in jail. Try another channel. So there's a society up top. Let's talk about weather inside of the city. This place must be huge. Robot game shows. How many channels did they make for this? Zero. Look at that, he's able to fight the enforcers. I get an achievement for using the television a whole bunch of times. I think it's for seeing all the channels, yeah. Like 24 hours hard? Like multiple days hard. Yeah, I've used this machine. That one, the drink machine, because it's not lit up anymore. But I hadn't gone up here. Which, my, which means I hadn't gone over here yet. We're inside of this. It's been so long since I've been able to join a stream. Sorry that I couldn't make it to the birthday stream you had a few days ago. Well, that's okay, Zimog. Thank you for the prime sub, dude. 
Oh. I'm sorry that you arrived in a stream where I probably have food poisoning. <laughs> this is a really pretty game, though, I have to say. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. You got smashed by books. little sleepy spot, dude. I for one look forward to becoming a peddler of suspicious goods in the back alley of Thor Town in Ashes of Creation. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. I want to make a, a society of California dwarves where we all live on the beach and create a beach empire. And we trade crabs to people. Our currency will be crabs. That's right. Our society will give you crabs. That's what we do. I can't wait. Yeah, we're playing funny cat game, dude. Look how nice this environment is. Look how pretty this is, seriously. Like, that is outrageous, dude. So good, dude. There's gotta be something else in here. Ripping up the couch, ripping up the couch. Found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with, careful with these. Ah, safe keys. So many CRT TVs for such an advanced society. That is true. Thank you very much for the hundred bits. So his safe is hidden behind a bunch of books. Cat book, dude. There we go. The Doc's Notebook. There we go. So it seems to belong to someone in the Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to... ...capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. If we could communicate with the upper levels, we could find our way up. Let's show them what we found. Okay, so we're gonna take this back to Momo then. But also... Looks like a thermos? Interesting. 
We also found the final sheet music for a musician friend. But that, that is clearly a unique book, and I don't know why. Yeah, there's a lucky cat in there too. There's lucky cats all over the place. You can't do anything with them, unfortunately. Yeah, there's something to translate I already got. There was the note saying to keep the safe better, basically. Music is not done. We need to be searching for something. We got. We just got the final music sheet. Oh boy. Yeah, this is getting worse, dude. Do the last music here. Hey, that's the last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. I have this badge as a token of my gratitude. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Yeah, no, absolutely. We'll we'll finish this game though. We really will, because I, I think the game is fantastic. The music is done. No more music required. But now we also have four books that we have to take up to the guy up top. I'm gonna go take him his books. I love that little, like, bark that he does when he jumps up high. Meow, meow, meow. Doot, 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 doot. Wait, which direction was it? It's up here. That's where I have to go. It is actually... Wait, it is April 1st? No, it's not. It's nowhere near April, dude. Dude, I wish. Yeah. Oh, he's still so sad. Don't be sad. I have items for you, dude. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Mm, no, I've got them all. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders. And I'm also the last remaining one. It's a Beltzar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. And then Clementine. Wait, you actually found all of my friend's notebooks? Yes. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabeltzar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find a way to get, uh, for you to get up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. I love the animations on him, dude. Look at him. He's fixing the transceiver. We're getting a montage, dude. And voila! It works. Come with me. He's so excited with his tiny little face, dude. Wait. I can't follow you. There's something I have to do. It's something deeply important. I have to destroy your rug. I'm sorry. The story can't continue until I do this. You don't understand. The rug has to die. It's the only way. Dude, I love this music, too. Get a funky jam. <laughs> I love that you can just destroy everything, dude. Up here, see that building high above the others? I don't. I was busy destroying your rug. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. I got a transceiver. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Hell yeah. The fate of the world is with a tiny cat. Glorious. 
Cat supremacy, dude. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> oh, look at his tiny face. Wait, there we go. This is game of the year. There it is. Game of the year. <laughs> I honestly love that you can just like explore everything too. It's just like a big open world, even though it's one level, right? We've really just experienced like one big level, which is this city. But I love just walking around and seeing how much detail is put into this environment. Just all the, like, even the, the 3D audio and stuff, like just these fans, right? And it's a really simple audio effect, but it really adds to the environment. It feels really nice. It shows me in the future, if I make a 3D game, like, I want to put this kind of detail into it. I want to feel, you know, I want an environment to feel like this. I want to hear all the sounds for the way that this moves, you know? Even though this effect here is really simple, like that, that cable didn't even move, it doesn't matter because the audio is really interesting with that, see? The wheel moves, the sound plays. It feels really nice, dude. It just feels good. Even down to tiny stuff like here. Rooftops. The little pieces of paper on these fans. I love that. Really love that, actually. Hmm. Another rug for me to destroy. Oh god, no. Oh no, 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 no. It's the things. Right, there's none over there. Oh, those things are horrifying. Alright. How are we gonna do this? Can I climb up those boxes? Those bags? I think I can go across that over there on the side and evade those zerks. It's not good, dude. Can we climb? No, we can't climb. <sighs> Alright. See if we can jump over this wall. Oh boy! Nope! Nope, 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 nope. Are they chasing me? they chase me up here? Looks like a no. Alright, so I can attract them using a meow, and then evade them. Terrifying. Can I put paint down on them? Are they chasing the paint can? Oh, I hate it. Whatever the paint can. I just like physics that into the wall. What are you gonna do about it? What are you, what are you gonna do, you little weird little blobs? Get out of here. Get out of here. You're gross. Yeah, get that can. Pick up that can. Pick up that can, nerd. I'm gonna meow at you. You can't do anything. This is a chest high wall, and you are defeated. They're so gross, dude. Look at them. Look at them. Ugh. Ugh. Horrifying. Alright, so. Some of these can climb walls, and some of them can't. This building is having some kind of weird outbreak, which I don't like. And it's covered in meat. Meat is bad. This building has the meats, dude. Look at it. I don't like the building with the meats, dude. They did. They almost got me. Uh, go this way. Yeah, they haven't seen me yet. That's fine. I feel like I could run them up here and then run around in a circle. I'm more nimble than the Zerks are. I could probably also do this. Come on. Yeah, that's a good way to do that. They don't seem like they can follow me up really, really high up. Just kind of off of little, like, walls and stuff like that. And I love this. 
Not a fan of Arby's? Dude, I love me some Arby's. I'm going to be honest with you. You know what Arby's has that's really good? They have a Reuben sandwich. And it has no business being good. Because Arby's has no business really being good, to be honest with you. But a Reuben sandwich is a Reuben sandwich, dude. It's the king of foods. What is this? It's a memory. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Man, it's starting to get grim. More of these tanks. Let's get up there. Whoa! Okay, I dig that. I actually really, really like that. It's like a slowly moving physics jump. That's really cool. Go, little cat. Go, go, go. All right. That's made out of meat. I don't like that. It almost looks like webbing, right? Like it's gonna trap you if you touch it. Like it's sticky meats. That's not good, dude. Look at it. Oh, it makes noise when you touch it. What cursed hell world is this? It's so gross, dude. No wonder they trapped them down here in the slums. What the hell is this? It's not just breathing, it's like... It's like undulating, dude. It's undulating and wet. And webbed. And hungry. And the Zerks are part of it. The thing is, is if you look at those pods on the wall, they glow like the Zerks do, which means that this is like... That's like how the Zerks are born, right? Those things. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, fell in some boxes. Hack the door. Oh, crap. Okay. I hacked the door just in time. All right, so here's what needs to happen. I need to hack this door again, and then jump over to the other side. Yeep. You don't, you're gross, you're gross. Your whole family is gross, everything you are is gross. You're like, gross. What are you? Oh God, they have little gross mouths, dude. Oh God, they're so, look at them. They got little chompers on them. Everything that you are, you're so disgusting. I wonder if you can feel you walking on it. I bet, I bet you it can, dude. I bet it's like a hive mind thing. Right? Like you touch it, and it knows. Right? I wonder if it's digesting the building too. I wonder if it needs more surface area so it can breathe more air. What if the rest of the world is just like this? What if this wasn't containment? What what if What if this was the last hope for humanity and it fell? What happens if we get outside of this place and it's just like an undulating mass as far as the eye can see, dude? Look at this scene, dude. I love the framing on this. 
We were outside at the start, and they were out there. Remember? Maybe, wait, maybe they weren't out there. Maybe that only happened after we fell. Maybe they are contained in here. But something that can do this isn't going to be contained for long. You know? It just takes one crack. And it can climb up walls, clearly. So what's stopping it from escaping? The cat food's gone bad? True. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, weird, weird pods, dude. Weird pods, dude. Should I go touch the pod? Should I touch the pod, dude? Oh, listen to it! Ew! Ew! Dude, if I get out, it gets out? Well, I mean, the thing is, it's already open to the open air. We saw that. So, like, the fact that it's not out already is surprising. I feel like it's probably already out. Oh, no, dude, don't go inside of it. Oh, this is a terrible idea, man. Whatever the hell's going on in here is a terrible, terrible idea. Oh, it's all meat, dude. It's all meat, dude. Oh, it's all meat, dude. All right. All right. I gotta get over there, it looks like. We got enemies there and enemies there. Let's see if I can... Whoop. Not today. Eat. All right. They sound disgusting. I hate the sound of them. I just, I straight up just hate the sound that they make when they move. They're so gross, dude. They're so gross, dude. It's like if you took like, like a snowball and you threw it, but the snowball was made out of ground beef. That's what it sounds like every time they move. Yeah, let's think about this. Oh, they make churling noises too. God, they're so creepy. All right, we need to move that barrel. There's no way to move that with him in there. There's got to be a better way. We have to let him out first. Where's that barrel gonna go? There's gotta be a different way. Let's think about it. This way. Go, cat, go. Go, cat, go. Uh, okay, so we hack this. And we have to roll the barrel all the way out here to jump up on this pipe thing to get up there. Wait a minute, what's over here? A memory. Gross. Oh, it's so bad in here, dude. Neko Corp. Hmm. Hmm, Neko. Hmm. They're responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. No! After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. The fools, dude! They made an organism to eat garbage. And now it's eating everything. They created Grey Goo, dude. Oh, no. Okay. 
Terrifying. They're terrifying. And I hate them. They only want to eat you? No, they want to clean up the garbage, dude. Unfortunately, I'm tasty garbage. Nope. Not today, not today. Alright. And at least now we understand why they're eating the robots. I think I have to get up. Maybe I can jump up on top of the elevator? That's what I'm gonna try. I didn't kill the cat. There's still a cat on the screen. Everything's fine. Oh god, they're so gross, dude. Nope. so much. Oh god. How are they not falling inside of this? Oh. Oh, they're so gross, dude. Oh god, they're so gross, dude. Oh god, they're so gross, dude. They're so gross, dude. I heart coding, thank you. It's my birthday many days ago. Four days ago. They can't jump? I mean, they can climb, right? They got weird little feet, so I feel like they could climb. I can climb. Okay. What is this? This must be the thing. Alright, we've got it plugged in. That definitely doesn't look like a hack job, dude. Here we go. Man, look at that. They're like giant mutating gnocchi. Oh my god, gnocchi are delicious, though. Those don't look delicious, although I would probably eat one. Just gonna be honest. Imagine it barbecued just a little bit. Maybe be like eating a wart though. Like, <laughs> I feel like eating a zerk is like eating a big wart. You know, like a big old wart. Things gross. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. <coughs> And let the Zerks out, dude? That seems like a bad idea. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Hell yeah. Let's check this area out before we go. Human personnel only. back here. Oh, that's funny. I've already done it. <laughs> Bug away. Alright, let's go. First off, I am a cat. No paint cans may live here. Gone. Off of my tower at once. I am the tallest animal in the city. Glorious. Oh yeah. It's the only way to descend onto the city, dude. 
Fantastic. Spin, spin, spin. Gotta clean that head. The slums part two. Oh, there's that toy on the floor again. Where's Momo? Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Fantastic. What a what a good, easy code for a cat. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window to the entrance. Let's go. Please. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... It was an H, I think. Let's try that again. Let's see. Success! I'm with the bar is waiting for us. Fantastic. What a code, dude. I like that it ended with admin admin. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yes, exactly, Cross Map Studios. That's the way to do it. And making sure to knock off everything that I possibly can, you know, as a cat. Wait, missed one. Yeah. Yeah, double admin, please do not hack. I'm still looking for one last energy drink, too. We're missing an energy drink. And I've gotten all of the machines that I've found. Hmm. Yeah, we need one more energy drink to buy that last item from him. We've bought everything else. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. You see that little interaction there? That was great. It was honestly fantastic. He, like, almost bumped into that guy. Yeah. Robot pets, dude. Let's see if I can get this thing working. Oh, dear God. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabaltzer? Momo? Psh. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it. We lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabaltzar is alive. We and the other outsiders managed to go- Wait, no. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltzar made it, there must be a way. Hmm. I mean, the sewers would make sense, right? That should be able to connect everywhere in the entire city. That's usually how that would go. But if these creatures are meant to clean up waste, that's, a, of course, where they're all going to propagate. That that thing must be like a horrifying meat tube, dude. It is most definitely a horrifying meat tube. It's not good. It's not good. It's going to be so gross in there, dude. Hey, Oxido, what's up, dude? You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. And I won't have anywhere to dodge, either, because it's just a big tube. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. What does a robot drink, anyway? Bacteria don't definitely don't live in the sewers? I don't know about that one, Chief. Seamus. 
His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Ethanol tea? I mean, we know they eat ramen, too. <laughs> We've seen that. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Energy drinks, that's true. But also, but also. Literally, ramen. <laughs> oh, it's so good, dude. Outrageous. This game is amazing. Let's follow our robot pal. Put a bag on our head. So we can't control our character very well. Wiggling around. Oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> oh no. It not only makes your controls backwards, but it makes them really wiggly too. Whoa! Who's that? What's this say? Announcement. I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar and add some ambience. If you find any, bring them to me. I live near the elevator. Gross. We got him all of his music, actually. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would, would have wanted to help us. Hmm. Well, then it has to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. You. I think I have an idea. Does it involve me jumping into the vents? And crawling through them? Oh! Vince, indeed. I'm ready, dude. Take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going to go back to the bar to try and reestablish communication with the others. Let's do it. Secret agent can't. Oh! He's already seen us! What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What about... What about your dad's notebook, dude? Wait. What's this? Is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? Hmm. Secret lab right under my nose. Maybe there are clues hidden around here somewhere. Maybe the four clocks that you have running at the same time would be a little bit odd, to, you know, to anyone else. Yeah, 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 mess up this house. Nope. Yeah, just start, just start tearing stuff off the walls. You're a cat, right? Aha! We got a, we got a pad, dude. Alright, we got a keypad, but we don't have a key. Let's rip more stuff off the walls. This seems like a good idea, right? Robots have parents? I wasn't even going to question it, dude. I wasn't even going to question it. Oh! What's this say? Time will tell. Oh, it's the four digits. Uh, two, three, one, one. No? Isn't that a two over there? Oh, that's a five. Two, five. One, one. There we go. Easy peasy, dude. Hell yeah. Oh god, he's got a zerk in a tube. Oh, I hate it. Look at it. No, wrong one. Look at it. Look at it. It's so gross. Oh, it's so gross, dude. Oh, it's so gross, dude. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. 
I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. His blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Hoppo always, Hoppo was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside to the slums and he never came back. Probably means it didn't work, bud. I love that those cast a shadow, look at that. Got tons of them in here. Top up. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. So they didn't always eat metal. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Yeah, be a cat, dude. Is there anything in that? I don't think anything was inside that box, actually. I think it just threw a box for no reason. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Nothing over here. Oh, what is this? Nothing in that. Yeah, this game is really good, dude. I think it's really interesting to have a character that is, like, so small, too. In, like, a world that's not really built for them. Ah, there we go. What is that? A broken tracker. Yoink. Find anything interesting in here? Yes. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. I've always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find out where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Let's go get a nerd. We know just the nerd. There was translate on the chair, is there? Oh, uh, no, it looks like it's jump up. Oh, yeah, no, that was the table. That was the one saying that the Zerks now eat metal. It was, a, like, a robot news headline. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything in this house first. I don't think we did. We translated that already. Went through all this. Nothing interesting under his bed. Alright, alright. I think we're good. Why does he have so many socks, dude? What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Alright, let's go up. We need to find our very nerdy character. I remember he's up top, isn't he? Diagram on the wall? You could translate the circuit diagram? Hmm. Let me go check first. Let's see what you're talking about. Doesn't look like it's translatable. Unfortunate. Ah. Memories. Rip humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like, Bernaya. Sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. And there is our final energy drink. That's the one. Gimme. So I haven't been over here before. I wonder if there's any other secrets in so. mm, Looks like no. There's literally nothing stopping the Zerks from spreading into here, though. They have one guy with a melee weapon, and that's it. 
really, really bad news, to be honest. Hey, there's Grandma's clothes. She's very nice. Let's go back to the market and buy the last item on this. Hello again, what do you want now? This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It cost you three energy drink cans. You can't do less. Done. But what is it? Oh, it's a memory. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them. In a way, it kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Really cool. I dig that. The humans kind of live on through these guys, to be honest with you. They're just as queer, like quirky and weird and driven by their own goals. They have their own thoughts and ideals. And they don't always get along with each other. Just like people, man. Can we climb this? Oh, we can. Can we get up higher? Nope. Yeah, we gotta build a Zerk weapon. But the way to do it is we have to go find the guy up top. I think I'm gonna climb up this way. I'm trying to remember where he lives. He's the dude that we, we got to help us with electronic stuff earlier. He was rebuilding the transceiver? Maybe it was the other thing. I can't remember. I believe he lived up here. Could be wrong, though. Because I know Momo's there. He was the guy that we had to get the blanket for. You remember him? I'm going to check here first. Just in case. No, because that's Momo's house. That's not what we want. Yeah, the bucket from Momo's place? That's it. He's all the way over on that side, right? I think that's where he is. Off we go! Are you up here? Is he in this flat? Can't remember. No, maybe he's not here. No, this is one of the other outsiders. Where did this guy live? Because all the outsiders have the outsider thing on them. Hey, Strand Largo, what's up, dude? Yeah, I don't know if it was one of the ones that had the logo, though, because those are the outsiders. They're not there anymore. Because that one is an outsider. That one is an outsider. You can see the symbol right there painted on the wall. That one up there is an outsider. And then he's an outsider as well. So it makes me wonder, where was this guy? I can't remember where he was. Oh. Swanito, you're new. I can name those lights like real constellations. The big circle? The ball? No. Needs more brainstorming. Hello. What do you want? Um, what's this thing? A tracker? Go find Jacob, the barman. He probably knows someone who could help you. Alright. He's going to help me get this beautiful telescope. I was going to say, where would you get that from? Star Fluxor 2000. Let's find our way down. Let's go to the bar guy. This environment is so nice, dude. Let me down. There we go. Hey, bar guy. You're new around here. What can I do for you? 
What a beautiful object, and rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little... well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Alright. Just left. Let's go to the left. <laughs> Elliot Programming. Yeah, I think that's the right guy. Hey, there's Grandma's shop. Where's Elliot's? Is it down here? Oh. That was weird. It wouldn't let me run there. I wonder why. I think this is... Is this where I came in? I think that might be where I came in. Yeah. This is where I first came into the city. Yeah, I think I scratched a door. I think you're right. I think we have to go back down. It's not this one. Who are you? Well, this guy kind of looks like a badass. Look at him. He's got like a weight in his hand. Here we go. Let me in! Hello, Elliot. Why, hello, buddy. That's me, dude. That's 100% who I am right there. Oh, wow, that's great. Oh, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model as a Tohima BR-2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. Yeah? Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update, one more thing. Voila. And it's fixed, dude. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Nice. Thanks, Elliot. You the best. Oh, that's why I couldn't remember how to get into this place. Because you get out this way, and you have to go in by knocking on the door. Alright, so, we have the tracker working now. Why, hello. Did you manage to fix that tracker? Yeah, we did. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. Your average programmer, I know, right? Wearing a blanket, sitting in the dark. It's me, dude. It's my life. Look at his little face, man. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Dude, don't get your hopes up. The tracker working doesn't mean your dad's alive. This thing's... This, I feel like this is gonna end in heartbreak, man. Wait a minute, he was just around the corner getting the milk the whole time. <laughs> Find robot dead, dude. I love these signs, dude. You know what? I think this is the only time in a game I've enjoyed an escort quest, because that's what this is. This place starts to feel like home the more that you spend time in it. You know all the characters even if you don't really know them. They're familiar now. We've been here for so long that they're familiar, so walking through here feels like... Like, safe. You understand it. You know it. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. They've done such a good job with world building on this. Honestly. I thought only the Guardian can open that. 
It's probably not a good idea. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it's all meat, dude. It's all meat, dude. Yeah. Okay, good. Door's closed. Oh, he's gonna die out here, dude. Seamus, you shouldn't be out here, man. I can at least get away from these things. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a true friend. And you are. I'll open the door for you. Alright, yeah, good. Yeah, don't, I don't want him getting eaten by these things, man. There's some, like, nightmare mode stuff out here. So we know they don't like light. I wonder if we can use that. I wonder if we can use our light to stun them. We haven't tried. We don't really know. Memory. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember, it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That, and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. People will always be people. dead end. Well, we got some of the gross pimple guys down there. Oh, dear. That's not what I wanted. Alright. They've seen me. Let's rock. Can't go that way. Not good. Nope. Get off of me. Oh boy. I think we're safe. I don't think they can follow me here. Gross, dude. I hate those things. I like this. Look at this. We have to bounce the physics back. Is that enough? A little bit more? There we go. Look at that. I think it's a really cool little physics puzzle, actually. I really like that. Alrighty then. Oh! <laughs> oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on. Oh, we're good. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh, no, no, no. We got a hurt foot. All right, all right, all right. We're hopping a little faster now. Licking the foot. All right, we got it. We're good. One of the other lives lost. Let's actually see if there's any memories down here before I head up. No, it doesn't look like it. These plants are definitely growing all over the place. And there's a destroyed car down here? 
interesting. It's really interesting that these plants grow without light, though. Those are the genetically engineered ones that the Neko Corporation made. But yeah, there was no way that that other robot was going to survive that. Absolutely none. <laughs> There's graffiti down here. Look at this. It's pretty good. I can go through that fence, it looks like, but I can also go up here. Is it two paths, then? If I go over that, I'm not coming back. And it looks like there's Zerk that way. Let's try going down here first. It might be a secret. Oh. Oh. The scientist he used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Oh, we can sleep here. We're a cat with a robot vest next to a dead robot at the end of the world. Hey, look at this environment. There's just so much environmental storytelling in this game. How's the game so far? It's fantastic. And the thing is, is it's fantastic for a reason that a lot of other games aren't. And what that is, is it takes its time. There's not a huge amount of objectives. There's not a huge amount of progression that you have to do. If you just chill out and play the game, and kind of like interact with the environment and look at stuff and try to figure out what this world is like rather than just beat it. It's a way better game. It's way more interesting. And I've had a really good time with it because of that, because I've just sat down and like explored it, you know what I mean? What is that? What are those Zerks doing? What are they doing up there? There's some kind of like Zerk culture happening. National Geographic Zerk edition, dude. I don't know. Well, they definitely knew about this guy, and they didn't need him. Let's hop up here. Alright. I don't see any Zerks right off the bat here. But that is definitely infested. this cable going to? We don't have any items to use. It's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Something we don't have yet. Hmm. We'll see where it's going to. God. 
It's so gross, dude. Look at it. I need David Attenborough to tell me about the rare Zerg mating ritual. Dude, I love David Attenborough. Absolutely amazing human being. Check it over here. Looks like a secret. What's this? Weird little jumping puzzle in here. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, God. Someone's keeping them as pets. Doesn't look like the light scares them off. Who could this be? I bet it's gonna be the dad, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerg. Who are you? It's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to get my- to test my defluxer. But it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Damn. At least he's not dead. He's gonna call us Marty in 3-2- I know, right, dude? Oh, memory. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Oop, new memory. Signal lost, signal lost, signal lost. Knocking over all your books. Cat power, dude. Yeah, yeah. We're stuck. These zerks will attack us as soon as we step outside. Fluxer. At full charge, it can explode Zerks like confetti. The baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. <laughs> really? They had to use the joke, dude. They had to. Oh, that's so good. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Problem is, it won't start. Think of Fuse Blue. And with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the deflection recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Yeah, give me the item. Just do it. I love that, dude. 1.21 gigawatts, dude. Oh, he's the best. I love all the outfits on these guys, man. God, they're so gross. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Hell yeah. Turning in the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the deflexer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. 
Uh, that's fine, right? It's not definitely not going to be any problems when I do this, right? Definitely not like like a million of those things happening, right? No, no, definitely not. Nope. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. My dude. I can kind of move around? No? Oh, dear God. Whoa! UV light man. Oh, God. Oh, we're not going that way. Yeah, stay with the light. Stay with the light. All right. Oh, we can't get across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me across. Get me across. Oh, God. What about this way? What about this secret way up? Way that we found before. Yeah, we did it. There we go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh god, those things are so gross, dude. Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I may be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Oh, baby. Give, give this to me. Give me the power. Give to me the power. Yeah, drone upgrade, dude. It worked. The deflexer is now installed in your fancy drone here. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Let's get back to the village. Coming home, son. Alright. Before we go, I, uh... I have to do this. How do I... How do I do it? What's the button? How do, how do I use the deflexer? Hit the button. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so good. You can see a little charge bar on the left. We can't run it for too long. Hello! I hate all of them. Oh, they pop like meat soup, dude. Look at that. Blech. Take out all these jerks so we can get through. Yeah, they're already dead, bud. Wow, it's working great. But as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit. When that happens, I hope it will last until we reach the village. Alright. Rest in goop, dude. 100%. Meat soup, meat soup. It's this way. Alright. 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 Switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity's been cut. Well, that's not good. Let's follow the line. Aha. Uh -huh. get up there. We need a barrel. Move this one out of the way. Smart kitty, dude. All 
All right, so it won't kill the things on the walls. Even though it really, really should. Because they're gross. Oh, I don't like this. We really can't use that thing for very long. There's more of them. Almost overheated on that one. They regenerate? Are they just making more and more of them? I don't want to explore this area. They are so gross, dude. We have to keep clearing these out so that our buddy here doesn't die. Like that. Ah, crap. It overheated. Oh, God. Oh, it overheated again. You really don't get to press that button for very long. Oh, man. That was close. Let's go back home. They were eating him, dude. And then they were going to eat me. You can't pulse it either because they have, they have to, like, swell up before they pop. So you have to, like, keep it on them. Now let's go. They're gonna eat you. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's terrifying, dude. We made it. Yeah. Oh, he's broken, dude. Aww. Hell yeah. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo's been waiting for you by the sewers. Sick. I got the little I got the little outsider symbol on me. Look at that. I get to keep the pin. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Yeah, we did. Hi, Teddy. What's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. Do you know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. Hey, what about me? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm so happy he's back. Really impressive, Doc. Nobody had survived that long in the dead city. So you survived the Zerks after all. Do the ten cans you owe me? It's funny. Oh, did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking. Talking about me? Right here? You... You talking... No one pays attention to Cat, dude. No one pays attention to Cat. Very sad. Off we go. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Well, guys, what do you think? We found all the music, we've met all the people, we've helped everyone that we could. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. I think that's it. 
These guys were really cool, though. It's a neat place. Wait, I don't think we met this guy. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Yeah, we met him before. We bought all the goods that he had. Looks like he's out of stuff. I'm sorry I don't have anything to exchange right now. Yeah, Zeus. That's it. Really nice of you to leave such a positive effect on the place. And all right. I thought you did all the music sheets thing. Did you not get the button? I don't have a button. I have a button on my side for the outsiders. Let's talk with them. Thank you for all that. I'm a great musician now. That's it. That's all he gave me. Just a thanks, man. Maybe there's supposed to be something else and it bugged? I don't know. Oh, wait. There it is. There's a tiny little music note on the side of my my case there. You see that? Really small. Kind of blurred out. There we go. You can see it. Yeah, I've got it. And I've got the Outsiders one on the other side. A little hard to see, but I got it. I think that's it, man. All right. Let's head out of here. We got a weapon now. I don't like this place, man. Hey, buddy. I'm going to check out this area before we get on that boat. Blue light up there. <laughs> Who's looking this anyone here? All right, let's get running, Momo. I can't believe you found Doc and got the deflexer. With this, we can now go to find Zabalta. Let's go. All right. This is going to be a hell of a thing. We're in a tube with nowhere to escape. And we have a weapon that can overheat. Uh, it's going to make me nervous, dude. The sewers. Oh, man. This is huge. There's meat already, dude. It's already started. It's kind of funny. When I was younger, I used to do urban exploration stuff. And you'd be amazed at how big sewers really are. And you should never go in them, because they're really dangerous. Also, that's full of meat. It's not good. Normally, they're not full of meat, but also they're really dangerous, so don't be dumb like I was. <laughs> uh, that one's not full of meat. find that out the hard way? No. I found that out when I got older. Realized how dumb I was when I was younger. Sometimes when you're young, you do a lot of really stupid stuff. And you don't realize it's stupid and dangerous until you're older, wiser, and know better. And have a much greater grasp of the terrors of the world. Those are a lot bigger pimples, dude. I don't like that. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, fine. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna... I'm gonna make you do it. Yeah, become gross. Yeah, turn you into meatloaf. It's fine. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. You're disgusting. I'm ready. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I hate him, dude. Yeah, if you do it, they, they pop, it looks like. It's the first time we've seen those things spawn, though. So now we know what that looks like, which is, you know, gross. Hey, Momo. Let's rock. I wonder if the little things can swim. I really hope not. What are you saying, dude? I don't actually know what he's saying. Oh, God. The light doesn't reach up there. They're above us, though. It's going to keep an eye on you. We go under this damn thing. They're all over the place. Looks like we've got another blockade up ahead. Yeah, the lighting in here is amazing. It's really, really well done. Oh god, there they are. I'm just, I'm waiting for one of these to open and just a wall of these things to just come pouring out. Like an absolute just tidal wave of Zergs, dude. Because they're, they're bacteria, that's what they are. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Hmm. Hmm. That's about all you got. I can't go with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabeltzar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Oh, that's not good, dude. Does this react to it? It doesn't. It's not good. I don't want to touch it because that stuff is digesting the walls. Look at it. We break it off of this, maybe? No, that doesn't cook it either. Yeah, dude, it's eating the walls. doesn't seem to like the light, though. It only grows up in the ceiling here. Maybe the light bothers it. Oh, God. They're all of the walls. They're all of the walls. Dude. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I think we got them all cleaned off. Oh. They're in the walls, dude. Oh.
Oh crap. What's over this way before we go anywhere else? That looks like a way down. But I kind of want to see the dangerous way first. That's a lot of gross up there, yeah? See? Rewarded. Remember. The sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They're huge and could contain a whole building in them. All the secrets end up being memories. Is that a... Oh. There's an arm there. Someone tried to get through the access control system and didn't make it. There's the other arm. Can't see anything down there. Look at all the different, like, I love this. You can just see there's so much detail, just like when we were in the city, you know? There's just detail literally everywhere. You can look down any one of these and see that none of it is is just empty. There's full textures going all the way. They spent a lot of time building the atmosphere for this. Really, really well done. You can tell they love the hell out of this game, dude. Oh. Is this going to be another jump we don't make? Oh. I was hoping not. I don't want to go down there, though. Might be something down there. Maybe not. Oh, I don't like that, dude. Okay. There's a lot of pods up ahead, and we got a gross flesh tunnel wall. I think I can pulse it. Eat it. God, meatloaf soup is so gross. Meatloaf soup is so gross. Game dev win? When I'm done playing this game. That's when. I want to finish this game first. What I like to do on the channel, whenever we're playing video games, is what I'll do is I'll play the entire game, usually in one sitting. This time I had food poisoning the first time, so it didn't work out that way. But usually, I'll do it all in one sitting, and then we'll go back to doing other stuff. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! I didn't respect them. I didn't respect them, and I made a huge mistake. Ah! God, they're so gross, dude. I hate them. But I have to respect them. There's so many. God, it's like alien, dude. Oh! Oh! Oh!
I assume the floor. Hey, it's gonna round him up, dude. Gotta round him up. God, they're so disgusting. They're so gross, dude. How's it going, Maxi? What's up? Making meatloaf soup. How's it going? God, oh, they're so gross. Oh, they're so gross, dude. And popped. Alright, I think this room is clear. Now we can really investigate and check this place out. There's a huge door here. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. This is fine. Everything is fine. Looks like we got two massive doors that lead us down into here. Oh, that's not good. Everything is made out of meat, dude. It's all made out of meat! It's all made out of... Oh! Gross. Those are eyes. He can see us. The whole thing is alive. No, it's gonna be too many. We gotta run. Oh, crap, I don't know where the exit is. Is it that? No, it's not. It's gonna run in a circle. See, we can't kill as many as we can. Chasing me? We good. I think we're good. It had eyes, dude. It had eyes. It had eyes. Crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hate it. Alright. Little bit of breathing room. Those are eyeballs, dude. It's one entity. The Zerks are like its immune system. This whole thing is a creature. Oh, hell. Not good. 
Oh, it's so gross, dude. Let's let that thing cool off for a second. I think this is the door lock to our buddy. Oh, it's awake. I can't leap to the other side. Gotta find another way around. They're immune. It doesn't care. So the little ones get popped, but it doesn't. These things are literally its immune system, dude. No, they don't go in the water. I don't know why either. Oh, there's an arrow drawn on the wall. Where's Momo? That's not good, dude. Not even, not even once, dude. B12, you gonna help me out? You not paying attention? Come on, let's go. He burned himself out, he wasn't paying attention. Now I gotta run. I don't have any weapons anymore. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to the left. Whoa! Nope, not today. Up. Yeah, we're good. So many wrong paths here. Oh god, they're everywhere. Go, 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 go! Oh, they didn't want to do it. Oh, man. Is he okay? Oh, thank god. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like it was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The deflexor is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be more careful. Damn. Well, no more weapons.
Oh, hey. It's the outsider's symbol. Hey. A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Zabaltzar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. No Zerks. <laughs> no Zerk zone, dude. The Ant Village. Alright. Sick. But, where's Momo? Dude, I hope Momo made it. And I don't think he did. That science can't stop them, they can't read. Those Zerks would be angry if they could read. This machine. The scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. You're the scientist. Was it? It was me. I was the scientist. I was human. I bet they all were. I need a moment. I bet all of the robots used to be human. It's not that they act like they're human. It's that they are human. They just can't remember. They're the consciousnesses of all the people that used to be here. Mm. No paint for you. I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. That's okay. I'm just going to knock all this paint off while you have your moment. We're going to do that. Now, the meat sludge was caused by a bacteria that humanity tried to create to clean up the garbage. And it evolved. And it turned into that. I'm gonna scratch up this wall. You know, making our own art. I did! Brian. I play Mahjong now. <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, they're just immediately starting to pick the pieces up. Great, dude. I got an achievement called Catastrophe for doing that, by the way. Cats, man. They don't care at all. I'm gonna mess up this. Need to scratch this, this couch. Make everyone know that it's mine. This is, in fact, my couch. As you can see, by the pieces of it falling onto the floor. My couch. Oh, this is also my rug. Yeah. Gotta make sure that people know that this is my rug. Very good. Fantastic. Ooh. Little jumpies here. I love that they look at you when you mail. They're quite silly, too. What's this? What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Sure there is. I'm here. I don't belong in here. 
with all these other robot people, too. They were probably people once as well. What is this? Whoa, whoa, he's all plugged in. Okay. Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental med meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you help find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the only one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. That's a good picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. But, but what about Momo? We just left him in the sewers. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. We have to go back down. Definitely have to go back down. Momo will find a way, dude. I hope so. I feel bad leaving him in the sewer like that. It's just terrible. Soothing sound of the trash falling. Shimmering waterfalls. No dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielding, shielding me in its womb. Shall you also be my tool? I think it's too solid. His name is Alexander. Love this music, dude. guys. Well, hello there. It has been so long since we had a visitor. Well, except those damn Zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power, having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. Hello. When I grow up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Aunt Village. I bet they were all people, dude. I bet, I bet they were all people once. I really do. It would make sense, right? Electric Zerk everywhere. <laughs> He's just asleep. Oh, here we go. A memory. See, so we would have missed that. Send me the brand newest in the Thor card game. Nice, dude. This language, the companion robots, made it up from scratch. Oh, impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time, so I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out, I know their language. I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Got more, more memories to find. I do love the smell of fresh paint. Reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. I'm sad. I'm telling you, dude. They were people. May is in her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. Are the memories shown as obtained in sequence? They've been kind of all over the place, so I don't know if I've missed one or not. Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. 
I'm calling it garbage brown. Nice, dude. Oh, look. A perfectly... Perfectly set up game of Mahjong is happening. It'd be a shame if I were to be a cat. Wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, twice. Oh, now I can't talk to them. I can't meet them because they're fixing their game. It's really funny. How long does it take him to fix it? Oh, there's a bucket here. Definitely want to try that after we talk to these guys. Yeah, it's probably hidden in the area that I'm in now, to be honest with you. That memory is. So we're going to check out the whole area. I want to talk to all the characters. And see how they all interact with each other and everything. We'll have to come back up this way anyway. So I'm going to let them fix their game that I ruined. Cat, 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 cat. No speed limit! It is. like a tree going out of here. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I, I just found. Poor fellow, may he rust in peace. Take the red plant. Yoink. Alright. I have a cool red plant now. Can I go that one? What is this? Nothing. I bet we can take the red plant to the artist. I'm gonna go try that. See if there's anything else down here before I head back up. Looks like I can't walk anywhere. It's kind of up these. Climby climbies. They're still picking up their Mahjong game, dude. Well, I guess I can't give you the... Hmm... Flowers look pretty. There's probably a robot that would love them. Wonder who. <laughs> Just a bouncer again. There's got to be another memory here, and it's probably going to be brought on by that flower. If there's enough of these pods, that means that there's more people like B12. More robots that are people. If these ones are just companions, or if they're actually people, we don't know yet. I'm meeting these people this time instead of ruining the game. 9,536 games, 1 to 6. Don't tell anybody. I'm actually programmed to win at this game. I get to talk to this guy. Oh, well, there we go. Come on. Statistically, I should have won at least 8 times. And it must be really hard to win this game if I keep doing this, too. with them in any way.
Oh, here we go. Can I give you anything? Interesting. Wonder who we're going to be able to give that flower to. The animations are amazing in this game, dude. They're really, really well done. Pretty much across the board. Have you played Nier? I looked at Nier. I have not played it. It was something I was probably going to, you know, wait to play on until much later. Play it on stream or something like that. Nier Automata. I don't get to play a lot of games, to be honest with you. And the reason why is because I'm always working. Like, I'm always working on making hardbound or building stuff or handling, you know, the business and all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So when I do finally get to play one, like, I really like to go all in on it. Clementine was the only one who liked my poetry. I miss her. Poor dude. I should go find Clementine. I hope nothing has happened to her. I'm just hop over a village and find the path to mid Midtown. What? I'm not interested in worldly possessions. My old friends. I miss them all the time. Don't forget about that address in the back of the picture. There's nothing in here. Yeah, he's like hooked into the network here. actually keep searching around this place. There's a bucket that would take us, looks like, down there? How far down does that go? No, we don't want to do that. Hey, more people. What is this guy? Look at this dude. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45. With my secret ingredient. Oh, that's pretty good. I dig that. Oh, there it is. The network cables. They're J45 adapters. It's funny as hell. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. They have no reason to eat anyway. You're robots, man. That's really funny. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna scratch up your floor. Hey, Magical Star, what's up? Stray is the perfect version of a walking sim. Changed my mind. It kind of is, yeah. Because the thing is, is it, it's just like lots of environmental detail. And the thing is, is while these characters don't have any real storyline significance to them, they build a world, right? They tell you a little bit more each time. Ah, yellow plant. Doink. It's a second plant. I wonder what we can do with all of these. Red and yellow, huh? Are there any other colors that we've seen? There's the red one. There's a purple one over there. I wonder if we could reach the purple plant. It looks like it's growing all the way on the other side of the building. We might have to keep going up to get to it. How's it going today? It's good. Getting further along in the story. Kind of investigating everything. Scratching up everything that we find. You know, because it's ours. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. You want to see? Still missing some colors, though. A yellow, a red, and a purple. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Thank you. Could you find another for me? There's the yellow one. I love that color. Thanks, buddy. Can you find another for me? Yeah. Okay, so now we found out who needs the plants. Oh, who are you? 
on board. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. So it looks like we just need that purple one now. But how to get to it? I'm going to keep trying to go upwards. And see if we can't find a way to get it. Oh, back up. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Being a cat, dude. It's the only way. It's the only way. Hell yeah. I might be going up too far. Yeah, the purple plant is down more. Yeah, I am a cat now. I've been a cat a while. It looks like I can go along that branch all the way down there. Let's go all the way back down. Because I want to get this last this last uh, plant before we move ahead, or we're not going to get a chance to later. Here we go. There's a tree branch right down there, so we have to go down from here. Where's a good way down? Ah, there we go. Oop. Spin, 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 spin. All right. Is this the right way? It is. I don't know how I missed this last time. Me up. Ah, there we go. Got it. Now we got all three of the plants. Excuse me. There we go. Almost there. This pipe. All right, there we go. Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. You found them all. Thank you so much. Here, as a reward, take my badge. Hey, I got another badge. It looks so good with it. I'll take care now. See you, friend. I got a little badge of me. Look at that. Hell yeah. Love it. GG. You did something. Exactly. We still have one more memory to remember. But I don't think we're going to find it here. We've kind of looked around the whole area. We found the secret thing here. I think I'm going to keep moving. Ooh, it's a scary jump. Such a cool environment, dude. Look at this. Honestly, fantastic. You're extremely sleepy right now? No worries. All right, let's see. Hmm. Now remember, we don't have the weapon anymore. So if we run into those little zerks, there's not much we can do against them, unfortunately. It's really not good. Hey, Thomir, what's up? 
It had closed my job yesterday, so now I'm headed into an open store. Oof. That's a rough one, dude. Closing and then opening? Ugh. Well, there's no meat here. It looks pretty clean. Look, this is the subway station. I completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember, I was doing this for them. They're gone now. It was so long ago. For hundreds of years. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? We're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. But they'll point us in the right direction. Interesting that we can jump onto these rails. Huh. box there. It looks like we can't interact with it. Although it's interesting that electrical box is actually attached by a wire to something. Look at this. Where does this attach to? I think this goes all the way back to here. Okay. So if we find conduit, we can plug that all the way back in and it'll probably open that door. Translation on this. Metro is closed due to pandemic restriction. Please do not enter. Any violation of rules can result in heavy prison sentence. Hey, someone's alive down here. Can't speak. Hey, a memory. Here we go. There's so many books here. Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember some, nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. I must have missed a memory. Look at that. Let's hang out with this dude for a minute. Oh, yeah. There's a nice jam in here, it's true. Got a drone, buddy. We gotta find the electrical conduit then. Is that the slums? It is. 
That's where we came from. That's that little city we were part of. I put locks all over it. Look at this. I used to see that. So I used to live in, in Orange County. And places in LA had stuff like this all the time. People just putting locks on everything. On all the chains. Super annoying. It's really funny, right? I already told you five times, Yash. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey. It's the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Oh, it's the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? You should ask somebody else. I'm too busy with Yash here to note anything. On the wanted screen? Wanted. Clementine Troublemaker. Outsider Rebellious. Please report any sightings. Oh, that's not good. Don't worry about trash. Neko Corporation takes care of everything. I don't know about that one, Chief. That's probably not true. Please state your identity. Cooperator will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Reboot you. Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Hey, bud. Do you hear that down below? That ebb. That flow. The city haunts me. It taunts me. Oh, Clementine? Yeah, I used to hang out with her. But she wanted to leave. She was a breeze, and then she flew. She's a wanted person now. Too heavy for me. You hear that? That ebb. That flow. People up here get weird, man. People up here get weird, man. was the city. The slum where we were. Ooh! Almost fell. Looks like there's a way over over there. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I love that you can see the entire place that we were down there. And you can see how big it used to be, but look at that. That's all the Zerk infestation slowly creeping over. They're like right on the edge of death, dude. If the place is colonized, then they must have a reason not to keep the subway powered. Yeah, basically the reason for that is probably the Zerk infestation. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do it because of that. Here's a problem, though. We saw that we need an electrical conduit. I haven't seen anything like that yet. I really want to go back there and solve that puzzle, but I haven't seen a conduit yet. Zerk. Z-U-R-K. We're in Midtown. Let me in. Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey, be cautious of the sentence. They're quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. I don't know about that one, dude. Talk to this guy. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day my other arm, too, and then my body, and so on, until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software. Will I be the same robot you're talking to now? No. Hey, what are you showing me right now? A bunch of people I don't know. My guess is they probably live in a massive housing building further uptown.
robot oil, dude. Only for robots, nothing else. Best oil on the market. That's funny. Wish you had some ramen right now? Dude, agree. In Knuckle Corp, where we work all day long to gather the waste and set it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Do they not know? Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had news from them. I don't think they know. We'll picture that one. Hey, is that an address in the back? First symbol is a street, and then there's a floor and a door number. Should be pretty easy to find. Dude, I don't think they know that the Zerks are down there. Oh, that's not good. Is it oil for robots or oil made of robots? Yes. The answer is yes. Soylent oil is robots, dude. Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. The Neko Corp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. There's going to be a reason we need to hide. Is this like a... It's like a robot strip club, dude. Oh, no. Club's closed. Get lost. Oh, yeah? Who are you, the police? Everyone's looking for her. I didn't let her in if that's what you want to know. Right. Back alley ramen, dude. A surgery place. Bunch of arms and other parts. Why, hello. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Can't get any energy drinks anymore. What is this? If you're looking for someone... If you're looking for some company to talk about poetry, I live behind the elevator, Bonabot. That's the guy we talked to earlier. Hmm. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Till like took a screwdriver in the knee and it's cl really, really. That's that's what we're doing. That one. God damn it. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Outrageous. Dude, so many references in this game, I swear to god. Is this guy vaping? You don't even have lungs, my dude. Isn't it so cool right now? So chill? I think nothing bad could happen to us. Oh yeah, I know her. I used to see her a lot. I think she lives around here. He's talking about leaving the city. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? Whistles. Robot drugs, dude. Walled City 99. How many of these are there?
Sorry, shop's closed. Waiting for delivery guys, but they're taking their sweet time. What's that picture? Well, I know her. She's one of those people who's all obsessed with the outside. Yeah, we're getting into a area of town where there's less oppressive forces, it looks like. It's the trendiest shop in Midtown. The shopkeeper is pretty grumpy. Hmm. I am the shopkeeper now. Are you one of the long, young punks listening to loud music all day? No, I'm a cat, my dude. Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. Who is that? Their clothes look terrible. Send them to me if they want to look fashionable. Oh, wow. You know what? Your rug is mine now. That's right. That's right. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Insert item. <laughs> It's the first time we've been able to do that. That's interesting. Huh. So we've got a couple of things going on at the same time now. We need a conduit to power some stuff. This guy's just looking in the mirror. We can get cassette tapes and put them inside of this. Hmm. Yeah, robot booty, dude. Don't look at it. I'll get banned on Twitch. <laughs> That's how it is, man. What's this? Are pliers? There's so many of these little cat statues. Oh, getting somewhere. But why? Okay, that only goes up this way. didn't make that. Where to now? The reason for this? There's gotta be a reason, right? There is a meow button. Yes. You can meow at any time, even during cutscenes and stuff. It's actually part of the game mechanic, too. You can use it to draw out the Zerks. Little nasty dudes. What is the point of this? There's got to be a reason for getting up here, right? What is this pole? Huh. I feel like I found a secret, but it's not one I can use yet. You know what I mean? Oh, wait a minute. And okay, now we're down. All of that to get over on this side? There's gotta be a reason for this, right? No, it just takes us back down to the ground. Weird. Yeah, I don't understand. Well, it doesn't want me going in there. Oh, 
but I'm a cat. Rub on his feet, dude. Is he scared of me? Go away, shoo, go away. He's afraid of me. Bonk. Then maybe I could hide under this thing and keep going. It doesn't look like it's going to move. Yeah, I rubbed against his legs and he hates it. He's terrified, look. Yeah, the peacemakers are afraid. It's weird. I just walked into the elevator and I got yelled at by the sentinels. For years, we've been told the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept it as fact. But why? You know what, my friends? Stay away from the sentinels. They're vicious. They got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years. So be careful. Yeah. He likes cat rubs, dude. What's that one say? Dry air and a bowl of hot oil for extra quality. Fantastic. What a menu, dude. Hi. What can I do for you tonight, chef? Can't you pay me with real money? No, I don't think I can. I can knock over all your pots, though, because I'm a cat. That's what we do. I'm good at this. Still no conduit. Still no conduit in here. There's got to be something I can do, right? Hmm. Signal loss to the computer there. No trumpets allowed. Oh, I'm definitely going to play a trumpet here. It's really weird that none of these robots can identify a cat. Like, none of them. Merchant Crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I try to confront him. If it wasn't for the Sentinels on patrol, he'd end up with spare parts. Batteries, you say? I need one of those. What's this say? Code 2458, so probably 8542. There we go. I got a badge. Hacker badge. Nothing else? I was hoping for a battery. Badge is cool, though. Oh, it's glowing, too. Look at that. Look at that, dude. It's all glowing. I love that. Hmm. Well, that one's weird. Look, it's like floating over the top of the cat. It's not like quite on it really funny. Yeah, kitty black badge, dude. Good stuff. Supreme hacker cat. Doesn't look like there's anything else in there. This guy sells batteries, but he doesn't have any batteries. Hmm. Oh, he's... He's actually low on battery. Look at that.
Looks like we can get up here. Nice. Got a couple of weird ways around. Some of these platformer areas up here don't feel like they go anywhere, though. You know what I mean? They're just kind of there. We need to find the residential building now. Met all of these people. Did all this stuff. That's the Necocorp place. This is the big ramen factory place. Is this the one? I don't know if we've been in here. I don't think we have. You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Oh yeah, Clementine. She went here once? Why do you ask? We have her address in the back. The residence is just to the right when you leave my shop. Ouch. Huh. What's that weird feeling? He's getting a haircut, dude. Robot haircut means new head. Ooh. Just to the right. I don't think we've been in here either. Oh wait, didn't meet this guy yet. Oh, hi. <laughs> Catnap. This guy's chill. You've been blessed with catnap, dude. Love that. I love that we have that every single time. Like, any time you find a sleeping spot, it does that. It's really interesting. Yeah, stretch on that guy. What this? Can't do anything there. Some kind of weird bar. Try downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but I ended up with a malware. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. Nice picture. I've seen this girl before, I think. She was looking for information about all sorts of very old machines. Weird. Oh yeah. I mastered every game that ever existed. I can't figure out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? Better at pool than them, dude. I don't know, Tonin. I like pretty much everything. Nice picture. I've seen this girl before, I think. Same deal. My favorite drink is oil. What's yours, Mammoth? Knock this guy's stuff down. What will it be today, little sir? Our world must seem gigantic with your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as you so I could explore new hidden places. This person doesn't want to talk. Interesting. Let's see if we can't, can't get down behind this. 
Anything secret in here? Doesn't look like it. The sinks go nowhere. Hmm. Hmm. Slobbering on some WD-40? Yeah, no, right. Weird. It's like a lot of jumpable areas in here with not really anything going on in them. There's also like no memories here. It said it was just to the right of the residency. So the residency is just to the right here. I guess it's this building, yeah? Hey, dumb face, we can see you too. <laughs> Dude, I'd hate that. Three green, five red. That's three, gr two green, two red. Two green, two red. Two green, three red. What is this hairdo, dude? You got a beehive going on there. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. Sorry, I forgot where I put it. Let's play anyway. I'll go in that cave. Let's go. Hell yeah, D&D, dude. D&D in the future. It's just like it's, like it's floor two, so we gotta go up by one. But, check through all this garbage. Anything in here? No. Nothing special in there. Let's head on up. Oh? What is this? Why is there a hose? See, now I gotta follow this. Now I gotta know, dude. Nothing? Really? That's all it is? But why? Hmm. 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 Hey, these tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I can give you one, but you'll have to do something for Jan Genma Miko and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Definitely. And then we can get a cassette tape and go and use it. Life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. Alright. Let's mess up some cameras. Crunch. Wow, that was some camera, dude. What a camera. Modern engineering at its finest. Chunk. Where's the last one? Gotta be another one in here, right? Where is it? I don't hear it either. Maybe it's up higher? Yeah, the camera definitely was just hanging on, dude.
I don't hear another camera. You could hear the other two. What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. <laughs> Where is it, dude? Does anyone else see this camera somewhere? I'm lost, man. I have no idea where this last camera is, man. I can't see it anywhere. Hmm. I passed in front of it? Where? Oh, wait. Is that it? I guess that's it all the way up there. See it? There we go. The other one's like way out in the open, so this one's kind of kind of tucked in the back. You can see it there. Eat it. Out you go. Hell yeah. Well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Nice. Enjoy your song. You'll love it. Dude, look at his head. Okay, that is awesome as hell. Love the object head, dude. Let's go to three five. Yeah, speaker head is cool, man. Okay, that's three, two, one, four, five. There we go. Hit me, dude. I thought you were a scent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait. So Zabalthazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to outside ever since I left Ant Village. The Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Hell yeah, we're part of the resistance now, dude. Look at this crazy house, man. Hell yeah. This place is legit. Look at this. plan to use this old subway for a while now. They even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. That's the area that I was seeing before. We need a little, you know, something to plug in. I know NECA Corporation has one secured inside the factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with the bomber jacket and gold chain. Take this message to him. 
Someone small and swift like you could have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. So Clementine's like that a strategist out of all of them. Love little lava lamp. So that wraps up two of the puzzles at the same time. We got the cassette that we need, and we also found how to get the power source that we need. They like plants like you will have mushrooms. Oh my god, dude. The problem is I also have plants that way because Shay keeps buying. The house is full of plants, my dude. Now where was the place with the cassette? Was it in here? I think it was. Oh! What are you doing back here, bud? You guys just passed out here now? It wasn't this place, was it? Now, where was that cassette player? I know we saw it. I just don't remember where. Definitely wasn't in here. In the clothing shop? Is that what it was? The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. Yeah, let's check the clothing shop. Here we go. Ah, you were right. <laughs> just blasted, dude. Oh god, he's pissed. <laughs> Look at him go, dude. Damn it, how do we turn off this thing? It's too late, dude. Get blasted. There's no escape. <laughs> it's so loud, dude. This shop is just blasting music, dude. I don't think there's anything in here that I can do. I think we just ruined this guy's shop for like no reason, man. I don't think there's anything special up here. What, did I say something? No. I've never said anything in my entire life, dude. We're here to cause problems and play loud music, dude. It's gonna leave him like that. Bye. The resistance has struck again. Loud music in the clothing shop. Oh man. Understood. I'm glad we met him. Love that his feet are up like that. Oh, the shop is open. Whoa. Nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked. And seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. 
I've been waiting for ages for Stuplitzy to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. That guy's slacking off at the bar again. He has another thing coming. I'm a hat. Restock me. Do it. Do it. Fine, don't. The bar. Down to the bar. This is the bar, right? Club's closed. Get lost. Maybe that's not the bar. Where's the club? Bar up over this way? God, his music is blasting still, dude. That's like a ramen house. That's the clothing shop. Or not the clothing shop. That's the hair shop. What is this one? Is this one the bar? This is the bar. It's Tony. Hmm. So the guy in the back is well lubed, they said, which means he drank way too much oil. And this is probably the dude we're looking for, which means we have to wake him up. Wake up, nerd. Oh, he's not dead, so I did my job. Oh my god, he's totally sloshed. Look at him. Oh my god, look at him go. Look at him just stumble his way around, dude. Oh my god. Whoop. Restock me. There we go. Yeah, what a smooth and well-lubed walk, dude. Look at him go. He's like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm very drunk. Drunk guy doesn't notice, dude. Aw, oh, yeah. Sneaking in. Master of Stealth. Aha! They'll never notice me now. I'm inside the hat shop. What is... What is that? What am I even doing in this hat shop, dude? Why can I get down here? What the? Whoa. I'm glad that I can walk inside of this wall here. This seems good. That seems truly intended. What have I done? I don't know. I'm inside of a hat shop. You know, cat stuff. I'm, I'm here to get a hat. Oh. It's my hat shop now, sir. These guys are almost out of stuff. Oh, there it is. Give me that hat. I have a worker's hat now. I don't know why I have that hat. Why did I steal this? Well, I got into the shop and I've stolen a hat. Nice trip, that guy. Nice. Maybe you should look where you're going, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude. I just own this guy. Really? He 
He's gonna do it again. Oh my god. This is every cat's dream right here. This is every cat's dream, dude. Every cat's dream. My cat does this to me all the time. In the middle of the night, in the dark, tripping me onto my face in the kitchen, dude. Ooh. Hello, sir. You are scary. Oh. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? on your feet. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you, you going to do? Yeah. Try to keep the peace now, nerd. <laughs> hey, Percolator. It's not my birthday. How dare you? So, we have a... We have a hat for some reason. I'm not really sure why we have the hat. Nobody get into the shop while it's being restocked. I'm seeing how incompetent these two are, it might be a while. So they're actually physically filling the shop up with hats. Do you see that? It's actually like a timed event. Look. The shop is being filled with hats. Which is kind of interesting. How's the game? It's actually fantastic. But look at this. Okay, that one actually phased into reality. That's fine. So we had everything we need in here. We've caused absolute mayhem in here. Ah, that's why. Yoink! We had to steal a jacket by making the music loud. That's why we needed that. So we've stolen a jacket and a hat. I guess we can take these back to Clementine? Because that's all we really need, right? A jacket and a hat? Hat box nay, cat box yay? Hell yeah. I guess we could use pants, couldn't we? I don't know if there's any pants. Nobody uses pants, they're robots. Pants. I could not be wearing pants right now and you'd never know. What are you doing with that hat, little cat? You want to be a cat worker? I do you do. Nice jacket, you work at the factory? Where's that contact? <sighs> you just got done watching a Taco Bell ad? Did it make you want to buy Taco Bell? Because if not, then that ad was wasted on you. That's right. Oh, it did? Unfortunate. And you got some? Oh, no. Now you're going to get more targeted Taco Bell ads. They're going to know by your phone information that you went to Taco Bell. That's how it works, dude. They got you. It's over. Let me go back. Let me go see if there's pants in that shop. In the loud music shop that we've created. No? Doesn't look like there's any pants in here. Oh, it looks like he's got the music under control now. Hmm. We'd be dealing with theft right now. What if I show him the jacket, dude? I'm curious. We were selling the exact same jacket. Wait a minute. What do you do with that, little cat? Want to be a cat worker? He figured it out, but he didn't stop us. It's not theft if you don't stop me. Alright, I guess we don't need pants. Hmm. 
Yeah, we gotta get out of here, dude. There's nothing down here. It's like a weird, weird dead end. What's this? To hell with the Sentinels, long lives the Outsiders. Alright. It's like a rendezvous location. Kind of a bad secret meetup spot, though, to be honest with you. No exits. Oop. Oop. Eat it. A bribe? I don't take bribes. I value my work. What is that anyway? Not a bribe. Weird surgery building again. God, look at this dude. Fifi. Who's Fifi? This guy's weird, man. Oh, he's talking about the person that he met down in the in the slum area. Bomber jacket and a gold chain. He was near the club. Bomber jacket and gold chain near the club. Well, we just left the club a minute ago. It's kind of down this way. Eh? You don't have a gold chain on. Wait, is it this one? No gold chain. Hmm. Let's rub on this guy. He does not have a gold chain. Bomber jacket. Gold chain down by the club. No gold chain on this guy either. Hope I'm feeling better today. I am, dude. 100%. No, you can't pee on people. You can rub up on them. You can't, dude. There's no gold chain on this guy, either. Where's the dude with the gold chain? No gold chain. Ah, wait a minute. Is it you, bud? He's got a gold chain. It's Blazer. Where'd you get that? Hi. You're with the... My contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Necocorp factory right there, but the whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away and turn away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Get me a worker jack and a worker helmet. Oh, you mean the things I already got? Well, I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Already got you covered, bud. Excellent, this helmet will do the trick. It's only a proper worker jacket. Perfect, that jacket is exactly what we need. I'll get dressed now. Mind turning around? He doesn't want the cat to see, dude. His naked robot body. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Hell yeah. Cat box, cat box. Where'd you find the helmet? I got the helmet in the hat shop. I stole it. <laughs> and then I got the jacket in the clothing shop by playing loud music and stealing it. I'm a thief, yeah. Looks fine to me. Take that box of cat in here.
All right, we're out and about. Can't jump up on any of this stuff. They're just dumping all that trash down there to push into the lower levels. Thinking that it's getting handled, but in reality, it's just food for the Zergs. You get sentry drones everywhere. Let's keep an eye on this and see what its pattern is. Perfect. Now. Looks like we can cross over there at the right time. Yeah. That far one doesn't look like he turns. So we'll have to go all the way over to the left. Maybe jump in that box there. the place we need to go, though. It looks like we have to go past him. But how do we do that? That whole area is completely watched. Maybe there's an area around the back left side over there? It looks like there is. I can take that barrel. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Metal Gear! Yeah, exactly. Hello. Hey, good thing you're here. You can help me. I lost my keys and to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Sentinels refused to help me. They told me, if no place to go, more work here. By any chance you could help me find them, I'd be eternally grateful. Yeah, let's help this dude out. His keys are just in here somewhere. Well, that's not good. I actually love this, that it uses the environment like that. It's really cool. up on that bar there. Talk about slave labor, exactly. It, they don't... The Sentinels don't seem to make a lot of sense. We gotta wait for the block. Ooh. Crap. It saw me for just a moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. Love that, dude. That's so cool. Hey! Our buddy's keys. Wait a minute, now we gotta get back.
That's gonna be a lot harder than getting here. get a moment. Nice. Got your keys. No way you found them. Thank you so much. I've been stuck at work for so long. Come here. I can give you in return. Hey, I got a badge. Nice. Got a little Neko badge. It's a whole bunch of those now. Crap, 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 crap. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, he's after me. Okay. So when you're running, your character actually has like a wide turn. I didn't realize the cat had a wide turn like that. What's he doing? He's freaking out now. Oh, what the hell? Their patterns are all wrong now. That's not good. 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 You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Go on, go back. Go back. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so the pattern changed on them after they went back. I wonder if that's a bug. Yeah, it looks like that one was bugged out. Oh, son of a bitch. You know what? We're just gonna gun it. I didn't expect him to shoot me with a taser, dude. <laughs> I didn't expect him to shoot me with a gun, dude. I was gonna jump. Wow. I got owned, dude. That sucked. Did I keep my Neko badge? Okay, I kept the badge. So that's cool, at least. They thought the same, just got it. Yeah, exactly. Rip, dude. Crap. Okay, I did it. That's fine. You know there's an achievement for beating this game in under two hours, by the way? Not weird. It was like a speedrun achievement. Yeah, there is. There's, a, there's an achievement for beating it in under two hours. Now here's something interesting. It, it wants me to get the worker keys again, despite having already turned them in and still having the badge. So I guess I gotta go turn them in again. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Not like 
like this. Not like this. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I already gave him... I wonder if he'll give me another one. He gave him to me again. That's really interesting. Well, I don't want the game to think I didn't turn it in, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, look, it's broken. Look at the robot. He's all, like his AI is messed up. Interesting. going to be another box that I can take. Ooh. That was only a little terrifying, so we've got an easy way back there. I guess we could have used that to get back to the dude that needed his keys instead of going the way that I did. You know, the smart way to do this. Ah, crap. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm definitely not in this barrel. Nope. Nope, it's not me over here. In the barrel. Ooh. Hello. How you doing there, buddy? Not paying attention to me, I see. Do 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 do. Secret agent cat. This is fine, right? That definitely didn't set off any alarms. Not at all. It's the thing we need. It's there in a tube. Stand right on this this box. No, I guess not stand on that box. What's this whole thing? Okay. Alright, Magical Star, no worries, though. Is this Game of the Year material? I don't know. I will say that it's incredibly interesting. I will say that I've had quite a lot of fun with it so far. that going on. Yeah. Come here, little box. Oh, wait. What if we get a second one? Come here, box. There we go. More boxes. Additional box. With me. With me. box. You stand on this one. And then... It looked like there were two power source things over here. Did you see that? There's two little power battery locations. These ones. Where do those go to? 
interesting. You finish the cursed star for the cursed quest. You put it in a Discord DM to me. That is the best way to do it. Oh. This is going to end poorly. Yoink. Everything is stopped. We got it. Quick, let's get out of here before the sentinels show up. Eat. Is that it? This back door is like this obvious, really? Who cool back door to your facility, dude? Although I feel like we are going to be number one most wanted in a minute here. Let's head back into here. Now where was that power conduit spot? I love the funky music in this, dude. I really do. Really, really love it. Alright, let's see. There we go. Reactivated the train. We're the only robots in this place? So, that's part of the storyline so far. The humans are dead. The world was destroyed from something, and they created these walled cities, and over time, all the humans died out. They also created a bacteria to clean up their garbage, and the bacteria evolved. They started creating these horrible flesh webs across the entire environment, and they eat everything, including our robot friends. Really not good. Yeah, the last organics are like, these guys. Oh, don't worry, Cold Usagi. If you want to go play on your own and not get any spoilers, go ahead and go. No problems for me, bud. You hear we have an organism that eats plastic now? A little bit better than that, we have an enzyme that eats plastic now. Now, the enzyme is important. Unless you're talking about something else, then I don't know about it. All right, Cold Usagi. Give a good one, dude. Oh. They locked it off. Think you can stop us from hanging out in our digs? I think they did. I think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cars. All this work for nothing. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. Oh yeah. Yeah, if there's an organism, Leon, I'm, it's a little spooky. Because I know we had a, an enzyme that's eating plastic now. But the enzyme is, you know, we can manufacture the enzyme directly. We don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about an organism slowly evolving and becoming terrifying. It's like an item to use. We don't have any way of using the subway, do we? Where's Clementine? I don't think she made it down here. That whole area was cut off because of the cops. Hmm. Able to turn this back on, but she's nowhere to be seen.
Just like everything these days keeps evolving, except for humans that keep going backward. No. We keep going forward, but not in the most optimal way. Not that great at that. You have to remember, kind of young. You know what I mean? Humans are young and stupid. Maybe one day we won't be. I hope we live long enough to see that, you know what I mean? Hmm. Alright, hit hat shop guy, what's up? Don't have anything your size, sorry. <clears throat> Alright. We need to find out what happened with Clementine. She's disappeared. Oh! Okay, this is bad. Interesting. Alright, up we go. Everyone is robots, that is correct. All of society was replaced with robots. People are gone. Yeah, except for cats for some reason. Which we don't really quite understand yet. Looks like we can wait for this one. And then we can wait for this one. That's not gonna let us up, though. It looks like it's all barred off. I wonder if we can run through those bars, because we're thin enough. I'm gonna try. Nope. No way up. Gotta find a different route. I definitely have to make it past this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Does this one turn the wrong way? No, okay, we're good. Yeah, the gap between the light, I tried to do that before, and uh yeah, it totally got me on some of the other ones, so I tend to sit inside these boxes more often than not. Okay, let's head up this way. Clementine is kind of screwed, man. She's in here. Where's she at? She's not here. Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. What's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to find out what happened here. Look. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And there's four symbols. Send Clementine. Take a look. Plant, crystal, cone, and lava lamp? Do the lava lamp. You found something? Hmm. I don't see anything. Are you sure? No clue here. 
I mean, that's the lava lamp, right? Crystal, huh? Maybe it's this lava lamp. Yeah, tear it up. When we pull the box out. The sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a hidden message under the container. It says, I'm with. This is a good sleepy spot. Yeah, the amount of detail they put in here is absolutely immense, dude. Like, it really, really is. They put in so much detail in each one of these environments, and it's it's awesome, to be honest with you. It really, really is. It's very, very cool, man. Just the fact that they even put these in. Look at the framing of this scene, right? And they do this all over the place in the game, too. It's awesome. Really, really good. <sighs> Wake up, kid. Let's see here. Not that level up. Oh, crystal. Gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful? Bingo. I'm with Blazer. Yeah, there's a ton of them, dude. An absolute ton of them. It's really cool. I guess that's not the right lava lamp. See anything? Are you sure? What an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. I'm with Blazer. Come to. Maybe the cone was the cone head. That's what it was. Last one's a lava lamp. It's that one up there. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice this message here. I'm with Blazer come to the nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Let's go find her. We don't have much time. Oh, it's not what I wanted. One last thing I have to do. My work here is done. Very good. Oh, this one as well. Good. Wait. I believe there was one more item I could do this with. No? Alright. I guess I'm just up here now. <laughs> oh, man. Did you name the cat? I don't think you can. Kind of funny though, because this cat looks exactly like a cat I had growing up named Jack. Like exactly the same. Although Jack got big and fat. 
And this cat is quite thin. Bridgetop is prime real estate. That's true. That's true. And we just got to sneak our way back out. We're good to go. This is pretty, pretty close, dude. There we go. Not for you. Go away. I hate this club. It's full of posers, but at least there's no sentinels here. There's gotta be a way in. Eat it, bouncer. Come to the nightclub, huh? I think we're gonna have to climb at the back again. There's a dude all the way up there. We haven't met him yet. Look at that. Howdy, partner. Why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you? That guy's ridiculous. I didn't see him at all before. Look at him. He's having a time up here. Purple suit. Dude, look at this guy. Wonderful. Look at this little cutie. That's it. He's got a purple suit. Gold chassis, dude. Look at him go. Absolutely outrageous. Hey, man. Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Yeah, hey, jump in and go get a drink. Hell yeah. Dude, look at this dude's headgear. Like my mask, I made it myself. It jams the sentinel scans and it looks cool. Oh, that's sick, dude. Look at him. <laughs> this club sucks. I tried to go to that stupid VIP room. They kicked me out. Me. Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. Give me a drink. I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't want to be caught with it. Alright. Let's get this guy a drink. I seem to have dropped his drink. Hey customer, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private business going on. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. That's who we need. human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to f find joy, despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions became more and more strong. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Neko Corp, and the police state created by the Sentinels, 
Now I remember why we're doing that. Just another memory. Cool little hidden area. Big that. Dude, glad I stepped on that. I wouldn't have found that otherwise, you know? Yeah, this game has a ton of hidden secrets. Okay, take the journey. Alright, so he gave me the lever. What can I use this for? Look at these dudes. Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get the party started. First song has been requested by a very questionable friend, Blazer. Oh wait. No, no, I want to play it. I am the cat. Hmm. Hmm. I can scratch on that, but I can't right now. Crazy robot booze, dude. Lever time. Oh, I wanted to play it. Send me up, dude. Yeah, it is Daft Punk. It's pretty red. Huh. as many of these to come up as possible, or go down as possible. There we go. That's interesting. What do you bet Blazer double-crossed? I have very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain about them so much. I don't like that. Oh, they did. Oh, it's Blazer, dude. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Business is money, and I value money more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Ah, oh, Sentinels, man. Well, that sucks. I got zapped, dude. Am I dead now? The achievement Alcatraz. My little jacket's gone. Can't stop me. You can't stop me. I can break these cuffs. I can break these cuffs. Break these cuffs. Yeah. I'm out. I'm missing my cool backpack, though, and my robot buddy is gone. All right. Let's get moving. Ooh. Almost didn't make that. I'm all greasy looking, too. 
Uh, jail. Shocking to reboot them. It's a horrible sound. That's what the Sentinels do to them. How do we save that guy? Can we save that guy? I can't leave somewhere like that. That's horrible. What are the small cages built to hold? I have no idea. I don't think there's anything we can do for that guy. Yeah, they're reprogramming them. They were saying before that they're for rebooting. That they bring you here for rebooting, but... I think that just means they shock them until they're broken. Their minds are wiped. And we learned earlier that... The minds of these creatures are most likely human beings. anything we can see over here. Now it looks like it's just stairs up. So we'll just have to wait a minute. Yeah. The thing is, is the robots don't even know this. The only one who does is B12, who's our little buddy bot. Who's not with us right now. Where's this supposed to take us? Well, this isn't helpful. Ah. We have to get up on top of that. There we go. Okay, I have to point this out. The polish on the dynamics of the soundtrack is phenomenal. The logic to get yeah. that set up properly must have been a pain. It's amazing, dude. It's really amazing. Think of the 100 bits. Okay, keys are in the other room. I can't understand them now because I don't have B12 with me anymore. B12 was my translator as well. I also can't hack anything without him. objects either. I have to carry everything. That's going to make things rough. Alright, let's see. Sick. Let's get the hell out of here. I want to 
keep quiet there. Where are you going, dude? Yeah, exactly, Jasmine is sure. B12. No, we gotta get him out of there. Why is he under the hardest restrictions? What the hell? We have to get him out of there. I'm not going to allow it to be like this. All right. Let's take a look at this. Laser grid. Laser grid. And even then, it looks like there's a power conduit that goes to the back. We'll have to break the power conduit. Well, the thing is, is with the... The dialogue that we have now, I can't understand them, and they can't understand me. B12 allowed us to communicate with each other. I can't hack any of these either. Those laser grids look a lot higher power than the other laser grids. Like, these aren't to detect. They're to kill you if you touch them. Oop, made it. Do they think B12 is a threat? I don't know. Looks like the answer could be yes. I got the zoomies, dude. Crap, they're all on high alert now. We just gotta wait. Okay, so all of this has changed pattern now. Got one looking right at him. This one's at the door, but we can get around that. And then one that does a loop, it looks like. Okay, time to go now.
Speedruns for this game are going to be wild. There's actually an achievement for beating it in under two hours. Come on, B12. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy. Build me a new backpack. I felt like I was trapped in my lamp's computer system again. All alone. You came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm so glad that we're all together again. But we're not safe yet. We need to find a way to get out of here. Can you open the door just here? Yeah, I can do that. We can hack this. Speedruns and YouTube are at 1 hour and 20 minutes at the moment. Jesus, dude. Anything special over here? Doesn't look like it. No memories. Have some bricks, dude. Break me a window. Give me a way through, dude. Hey, come on. You're a robot. Throw the brick. Jesus. Hey, give me a boost. Come on, give me a boost. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Up. Oh. Hell yeah. This game is the best game, dude. How many hours have I played so far? Yeah, I don't know. Quite a bit. I played a whole bunch and then I got motion sick. Or not motion sick, I got food poisoning. So then I, I had to stop for a little while. That was yes like yesterday, day before, something like that. Now I've played a whole bunch more today, so. I think we've played four and a half hours today so far. Yeah, dude, it's some of these animations you only see once, they're really nice. Super cute too. Sentinels are blocking the way again. They spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Hell yeah. Right, let's find these cells first. Who are you? See the guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. The recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. Something about that actually freaks me out, to be honest with you. Like, legitimately freaks me out. Got him. Goodbye. Yeah, I really don't like it, dude. Come on, open it up. Poor fellow. It seems the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They've completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. That's not good, dude. Alright, 
Looks like we get a multi-lock kind of situation over here. same door, don't we? That's not good. Okay, let's think about this. I need to have both of them captured in the same way, on the same door, at the same time. Was close. That was real close. Meet this guy. Ooh, what you did. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Nice. What's this guy doing? Go over there. Well then, lock in the channel. We gotta take the power back. Okay, good. Good. He was kind of broken, but that's okay. Trust that. This isn't going to end well. This door is the only way out of the jail. I think we can open it from the control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room, though. Let's look around. Can we jump over this? Can't jump over. Yeah, that guy's mind was broken. Oh. They left the keys in the door. Hell yeah. Up in the back of the truck. You should be able to get over the fence. Access the secure area. Seems safe, right? Why is there a pot on that? Oh. oh god. Oh dude, you forgot me! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I made it. Oh. Had to serpentine for a moment there, dude. We're doing it. I'm making a 
break out, dude. Go, go, go. There's no way we'll make it with the Sentinels on our tail. You could have made it. Come on. No. No. There's, you don't need to sacrifice yourself. Come on. It's not that everyone gets to go to the outside, but one of us has to. Now go. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Need to be that one. Well, this guy's gone now. <sighs> well, we already repowered this thing. Oh, wait, it's unpowered again. I don't think the game expected us to come back here and, and power it already. Yeah, right in the feels, dude. That feels bad. There's so many characters in this that you want to save, but you can't. Yeah, you won't be able to remember if they wipe you. Exactly. One of us has to make it to the outside, but if it's just me, it doesn't really matter, does it? Here we go. Neko Corp seems to be the cause of everything. It really is. Not even the real Neko Corp, though. The remnants of it. The robots that have been programmed to preserve it. For no purpose. Audio in this is amazing, dude. What's really nice here? We're in Walled City number 99. It looks like this area. What? Hello, how may I help you? This area has never been touched. No one's ever gone here. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. These are the helpers that don't have human emotions. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. Yeah, it feels super weird, dude. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Oh, we're at the top of the city, look. Hello, the city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to the certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Here's the control room. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Hmm. Want a 
to scratch that. But I can't. I need one of these. You! Come here! Come on! Why can't I do anything with this? I should be able to scratch that, right? It won't let me do it, though. That means something else needs to happen first. Let's check out the rest of this area. Oh, the machines are all broken. Look. Like, glitched out. Looks like it's the only thing I can interact with. It's not working. Ah, there we go. Yeah! Scratch it for justice. There we go. That definitely wasn't dangerous at all. Where's our handy helper bot? You, come here. Can you not come here? No. Alright, here we go. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here. And it's empty. God has abandoned us. <laughs> I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. Plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside. Together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I love. Feeling. Feeling it, dude. That's all it is. It's just a tiny little box. People up top. People down below. People up here. No matter how much power you have, you're still inside the box with everybody else. It's really the truth of it, too. This is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we shouldn't be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Cat, cat, cat. Hmm. I feel like spilling coffee on them will turn them off. What do you guys think? Oh, wait. I have to turn them all on. Cat keyboard powers! We're doing it, dude. This is the way. The shiny lights. It worked! Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Oh? Roof control station. System is locked. There. That's the workstation over the city. But there's several layers of security preventing us from using it. 
Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines, and you destroy some stuff. I love destroying stuff. Which machines are we hacking? Hmm. Yeah. Nice. That sure did something, dude. You, hack that. Very cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The system is taking more than I expected. Be careful, B12. Uh oh. We've got to keep going. What else could be hacked? I can't find anything else. Come on. There we go. Can't hack that one. Maybe we need to break something first. I'm not seeing anything we can break. Wait. There. Yeah. Destroy everything. And now you can hack that. Perfect. Dude, B12 is taking so Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. I don't like this, man. Oh my god, he's frying out. Dude, if they kill B12, I'm going to be so mad. You better not. I think this little... No, you don't. It's okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. That's it. We're safe. Listen. I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. With the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on in the memories of humanity, to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions in you. Here, let me take that off of you. No, dude. You were my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you.
They can't survive UV light. They won't infest the rest of the world. Because it kills them. That's where our little UV gun worked. The sentinels were part of the security system that we just disabled. It wasn't the light. We turned off the security. Ameliorated, yeah, most likely. You know, if they would have just worked together from the start, instead of building a caste system, trying to oppress each other, it would have already gotten out. I hope one day we can get off this planet. We don't end up like that. A little robot, buddy. You're not looking forward to generation ships? Yeah. I can feel that. What now? I guess we go outside. Front door should be open, shouldn't they? Cat jam, dude. He's doing it. <laughs> Gotta get off this rock, man. Do you see that spark at the end? Or on the left side? I 
wonder if that was B12. Because at the beginning of the game, you had a machine that you had to put B12 onto, and that uploaded the consciousness onto B12. That same machine was the one at the end. B12 being put back into the internet in there. The network. Yeah, I think B12 was uploaded into the city. I don't think B12's dead. Yeah, I think B12's the city control system now. That was a really good game. That was a really, really good game, dude. The thing is, is environmental storytelling is so powerful because it allows the player to get connected to the environment, get connected to the story that you're trying to tell, even if you don't tell them about it. And they did that very, very well in this. Really well in this. This is what happened before the robot episodes of Love, Death, and Robots? Yeah. Does the city control system support getting consciousness put in? I don't know. I mean... B12 was part of the network before. Alone and, you know. Oh yeah, Noipel. I know about vitamin B12. And it makes sense. I would have hoped that the cat reunites with his friends. Most likely did. What about when a player gets lost in one area? Were there hints to progress or just tough it out? I don't think it was just tough it out, but the whole game is about a cat, right? It's about curiosity. If you're not a curious player, you're probably going to be stuck for quite a long time. A lot of the things that I had to solve throughout this, I just solved by investigating things, by trying to jump on stuff that I probably shouldn't have jumped on. And then it turned out that was part of the story. So, they did a really good job of making it accessible to a cat. Think like a cat. Play the game, you know? Yeah. Yeah, open cat game, dude. Really interesting. I think that's it. Well, that was Stray. That ending was very good. The game was very good. And there were still memories that I missed along the way, too. But I liked that. I liked that a lot. In any case, are there other endings? I don't know. I'm not sure. Time for an Elden Ring full playthrough? I'd probably just play a mage and one-shot every boss. That's kind of how you do it, right? What was your total time invested in Stray? Probably about... I want to say eight hours? Nine hours? Something like that. Um... I think that was definitely worth it. The thing is, is any time... Any time you have a game that makes you feel like an emotional reaction, I think it's worth the money, right? There's so few games out there that give me an emotional response to something, and this didn't give me an emotional response because of the cat. Not just because it was a nice, cute, fuzzy animal. The emotional response that I got was from B12 right at the end there, right? That was because... That character is with you the whole time. You got to see the arc and understanding wash over that character. They changed throughout the entire story. You stayed a cat, but they changed. They learned about the environment, and they sacrificed themselves at the end. The world building allowed me to connect with each of the other characters as well. It's a very silent protagonist kind of a feeling. Your character remains the same, but everyone around you changes because you exist. And that's great storytelling. That's really good. Really good. And I think that's, that's important. If you have an emotional reaction to a game, it is a good game. Whether that emotional reaction is, is anger or sadness or happiness or whatever it is, if you feel something, then the storyteller has done their job. And that's it. So I think it's really, really good. And I think anyone that, that complains about the length of a game versus the cost of the game, I think it's a foolish, foolish thing to do because it's not about that. It's about making you feel something. It's a story, you know. Last of Us 2 made me rage. <laughs> you remember it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. That's kind of how I feel a lot of the times about story storytelling games. So I think when, when Heartbat is done, I hope you feel the same about that. <laughs>